I see little, little pe- I, well, I don't see any, there we go. Hi, Cindy. You're my first late night crafty clubber to show up. <laughs> so now if we refresh this. Hello, hello, hello. Wish I had a little theme song for you guys. Hello, everybody. Hi, Marissa. Hi, Lori. Hi, Michelle. Hello, hello, my friend. Lori, you must be so hot. Hi, Karen. Can you... We're getting the little um, chat room. Everything's getting set up. Hi, Gina. Hey, everybody. And... I'm doing my own theme song. Hello, hello, everyone. Hi, Miss Paula. Hello, 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 Jamie from West Virginia. Hi, Mandy. <sighs> okay, we're setting everything up. I see my little hands. There's a delay, which I can see, which is kind of our nails match. I had to go get my nails done today, you guys, because my um, my nails had grown out so much. It was so embarrassing. My husband even said, you need to go get your nails done. <laughs> Hi, Miss Mandy. So, Mr. Crafty is here. This is his, his hairy arm you see here. Um, getting, getting the little chat room visible so I can see everybody and... Everyone is getting set up. Hello. Hi, Maria. Hi, Tawana. So, Tawana, thank you so much for your lovely email that you sent me uh, via the for the podcast. Yes. This one will be delayed, and this is more uh, real time. Okay. So that's my real time camera, and then there's a delayed camera. Okay. So yeah. I think I'm good. I think I can see everybody. We are, it's kind of weird saying this is the late night crafty club when it's still daylight out there. <laughs> and it's like uh, six o'clock in the afternoon, evening here, and it's really super hot. Miss Amy, I appreciate you being here. I don't, where are you from? Are you like in Australia or New Zealand? You Aussies always have to make a major adjustment to, to be here uh, for anything I do. It's 10 p.m. where Miss Jennifer is. Hello, Lisa and Jay. Hello, everyone. Amy is in the UK. And I'm singing everything. I don't know why. But because I think I'm missing my my little theme song. My little cool, G, my little piano jazz hands song. Okay, Mr. Crafty has left. So it's just me, you guys, and I have a little pooch down here, a little doggy. Come here, Rita. See, we'll have her, <laughs> we'll have her stick her little paws in to the camera. I am babysitting at the moment. My mom's dog is hanging out with me <laughs> here in the late night crafty club. So, um, we are, yay, Sylvia says you are catching me live. So we are just sort of hanging out. Hi, Julie. We're hanging out, letting everyone get all settled in. Hi, Miss Amanda. Hi, Veronica. Um, I'm petting a little doggy that's visiting me. <laughs> her her name is Rita. This is my dog, my mom's dog, and she often comes to hang out with us when she gets put outside. She'll come and not knock on the RV door, but she basically lets us know she's out there and we let her come in here. Hello, Sandra. Hi. Hello. I'm, I have missed you guys. Hi, Kesia. Missed you too. I feel like, let's see, it's probably been a month since I have been, um, uh, on the late night crafty club. And I, <laughs> I think it's funny that we should, yes, Miss Rochelle, I am in the RV. Um, and I will be the first to say that it was an embarrassing little snafu that I should have been doing the show uh, last week, I guess, but I wrote it down or thought I was doing it this Friday and it got put on the calendar. It was last Friday and actually last Friday would have probably been better to do it. I feel like 
I've let a lot of time go by, but I have been really busy doing uh, mom daughter bonding. <laughs> I've been hanging out with my mom a lot while we've been staying here. We're staying, um, our RV is parked in her backyard. She has an RV pad. So we are neighbors with my mother now. <laughs> um, we've been here since mid-March and it has been so awesome. I have really enjoyed it. Um, and we are going to be going back up to Washington to um, see all of our kids up there. So. I made myself a little schedule <laughs> of things um, to cover in this episode so that I stay on track because I have a tendency of chattering on a little too much, a little too long, a little too all over the place. So I got my jammies on, even though it's still pretty early <laughs> out there. Um, but I have my Love Leads shirt on, Miss Paula. That's my jammies for tonight, and I am drinking iced coffee, which is probably a little crazy, drinking it so late in the day, but um, Mr. Crafty and I are going to um, be staying up late tonight to play a video game that I have recently gotten obsessed with, so I'm forcing my husband to stay up late and play video games. <laughs> I'm sure he's like the luckiest husband in the world. Um and let's see. Oh, I wanted to share something with you about this. Um, hi, Jennifer. Hi, Sarah. Um, and hi, Justina. If I missed you clocking in, Jennifer, Sarah, got, Sarah's got her wine. Um, hi, Miss Cobra. And I, um, is the video playing? So if you're on the if you're in the chat room, we're doing this differently. I don't know if you were on um, last show. Um, we're now doing it in the Facebook group, and I think it works. It looks and feels a little different than the YouTube platform. But I actually really like the Facebook platform. I wasn't sure that I would, but I like it. I feel like it's a little more user-friendly. There are some things I can't have, like I can't have my cool... Um, music and all that stuff, but I like this better and it feels like a lot of you guys um, are able to get into the group easier. Um, Kathy says she just has ice water. Ice water is great. I actually have ice water too. This is um, from earlier. These cups, these double walled cups that they have now available, they've probably had them for a while, but I'm, I'm new to this. Um, they will keep your stuff ice cold for like 24 hours. I go to bed at night with ice and I wake up the next day, there's still ice. I have ice all day long. For someone who loves things icy, frigidy cold, this is like the best invention ever. So now, hi Julie. So now I have, um, I have two of them now. One of them is for water and this is for iced coffee or hot coffee or tea. Um, the or a smoothie if this is for like my alternative drink and then I'm gonna keep this is a 40 ouncer and I am obsessed I love this so um, Mandy is drinking hi Claudia I am so happy to see your little face um, Kathy I got this one um, I actually won at the retreat we had in Kansas earlier this month um, this was Shauna's <laughs> purchase and I won her gift. So this came from Walmart and it was $7. This uh, was on Amazon. And I think that the, like you can get them with colors, but the like the silver one for 40 ounces was like $20, I believe. This is the most amazing cup. I We're getting rid of all of our cups now and just using these two. So um, he'll have his two and I'll have my two because they're all I need. I feel like I should sing a song to them. You're all I need. Um, hi, Deborah. Claudia, I'm so happy to see your little face. You've been crafting the most beautiful things lately. I shouldn't say lately. You be craft beautiful things all the time. And hi, Maria. Um, Kathy, Mr. Crafty has put a couple links into the chat room that I believe go directly to um, the, this item so that you can see it. It's like a, um, hang on, I'm sorry, you guys. It's confusing. <laughs> hi, Jenny from Maryland. Um, hi, Linda. 
hello girl. Um, it's confusing because there's like two, I'm, I'm seeing, feel like I'm seeing two chat rooms. So I'm, <laughs> feel like I'm seeing stuff flash and I don't get a chance to answer it before it's like gone. So, um, me too, Julie. What a, that's a long drive going all the way down to Monterey. Um, and Michelle earlier, I heard you say, or saw you write something about going up to Washington and I still plan on my agenda to get up to the Bellingham area because there's a delicious baby up there that I need to kiss and, and snuggle. Um, so I, I'm going to put my little drinks away now that I've shared them with you. So how many of you guys got a chance to, um, see the, the links that I put in the group for like the desk tour. <laughs> I, and I need to know how many of you guys love watching desk tour videos. It's kind of like um, it, it. It's kind of like a guilty pleasure, just like watching someone who like flip a flip through or a walk through of their planner. There's something about hi Leslie. Well, thank you. There's something about being snoopy and nosy and looking at what people have on their desks. <laughs> I really, really love. I enjoy. I like seeing how people set up things. Sometimes there's like cool. Um, hi, Miss Jill. Hi, Miss Justina. Well, so tonight will be your first desk tour video. So I'm giving you the goods. I have never filmed one. Um, well, let me, let me, that's not true. I actually filmed an entire video for my craft room. Um, the one I had back in Washington. And it was showing off the room once I got it all done and it was beautiful and then I got really self-conscious because I'd never been on camera before and I hated how I looked so I told Mr. Crafty he had to edit it and then I think both of us um didn't keep track of the video and I think it got lost <laughs> somewhere in one of our computers so that taught taught me a lesson about not being as vain <laughs> and I have since gotten over being on camera like that. So now I kind of wish I had the video because I just would have showed it. Hi, Miss Ashley. And Co Miss Cobra says, why is video not playing? Mark, do you have any ideas of what that she could be? Miss Cobra, Miss Cobra, if maybe you needed to refresh, Mark, uh, Mr. Crafty said, try that and see if I show up because everyone else seems to be okay so yes rosemary it is my first desk tour so i'm gonna film i actually did a little walkthrough today <laughs> i often film with an invisible camera <laughs> um and i often will do a video like that like i'll pretend that i'm filming and just so that i can get get an idea of what i would say things that i could change hi miss mari um Hi, Trish, and they, uh, so Miss Veronica says, Claudia, one of your, uh, craft, she made one of your crafts and it turned out wonderful. Um, Claudia, I love, love, love how you use the digital products from our store. It is so fun to see how you do things, especially when you manipulate them and, and do other things with them than just straightforward using one printable. It's really fun. I love that. Um, so hi, Betty Jo. Hi, Sarah. Oh yes. Well, I'm so glad that you ran and got something that would play. It's so weird how technology makes it so easy for us to access things, but yet there's all these little, little things that some technology likes it and some does not. So it's like, is it my iPhone? Is it my iPad? Is it my laptop? Is it my, you know, what, what will it take <laughs> for me to be able to watch this? So, um, I'm glad that those of you who had to struggle to get here are here. I am so grateful. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick little catch up. Um, and then I will launch into my little planned, uh, schedule, which I shared on, um, the, uh, Facebook group. And I also sent an email out to everyone to let you know that I had like three things on the agenda tonight. And I think if I try to keep the show simple like that, it'll be easier for you guys to decide, um, you know, do I want to join in is, you know, or can I watch it later? Is that, does that interest me or not? So I'm going to try to be more like planned out and organized with that. Um, 
So catching up, earlier this month I went to Kansas uh, for the retreat that I had with Shannon Noel. Um, she is the one who founded Illustrated Faith, for those of you who are not familiar with her name. Um, but most of us know Illustrated Faith. Uh, we had this retreat at this fantastic um, place called the Whatever Craft House in Kansas that is owned by Meg Dirksen. And it was so fun. I don't think I've ever enjoyed an experience as much as that one um, for so many reasons. And it was the first time ever that I went to an event and I actually crafted. Those of you who have taken my workshops know that I don't sit there and craft. Um, I'll walk around and talk. I become very extroverted at my events for some reason, um, and I don't sit there and craft. It feels weird to sit there to me and craft at my little table when people, I feel like people came to like talk to me, visit with me, get to know me, uh, me to get to know them. I, I just feel like there's that, the, the purpose of coming is more for interaction. So I never sit there and, and this time it was just, it was a very small group and it was much more, it was like four days of being together. So I feel like it was a little bit more relaxed and you weren't so urgent to get something done. So it was just wonderful. And Paula, yes, she was so good about sharing that on Instagram live. I never do stuff like that. I wish I did, but I don't. I, all the events I've taught at or spoke at or done different things, I barely take enough pictures. <laughs> to like post. I don't do videos. I know I'm just terrible. I need to have like a, I need to have like a tech person with me that can do all that stuff for me <laughs> because I can't focus on it. I'm so, I want people to see me interacting with them, not on my phone, not trying to post things, not trying to answer things on my phone. I want them to see like, Hey, she's present, you know, she's here to be with us. And so maybe that's part of it. I just feel weird about getting on my phone. Um, and yes, Paula, I am in the moment, which I don't spend a lot of time being present. So <laughs> it's nice to be present at least sometimes. So that was really fun. And I really want to offer more of those experiences. Paula, um, is really my go-to for those kinds of, um, opportunities. So she and I have been talking more about kind of like having, hosting more of those type of retreats giving people more of that deeper experience. So that's really on really close to my heart and something I want to do because when you walk away from something like that, I feel like you're changed. And Justina, you came to the event. Um, and I noticed that there, um, in the Facebook group for the event, there are, there's still chatter going on, which is awesome. Um, I love that. So, um, hi, Miss Karen. You know, Jamie, it's possible. I don't know. You, you might want to hit refresh and try again. <laughs> um, so I wanted to talk about, let's see here. My current obsessions, I wanted to share. I have three of them. Uh, one, my double walled cup. I'm obsessed. I am, it is like the best thing I've purchased and I don't know how long. I, it, I will, this is like my, I love this cup so much. I can't say enough good things about it, especially for, if you're concerned about getting enough fluid, um, I feel I only have to drink two of these a day and I can't believe like I'm drinking even more than that because the water is so icy cold. Hi, Eds, that I love, 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 love drinking from it. So that's my, <laughs> my last pitch of the night. Um, and my crafting mojo is still going on. I'm still crafting, ladies. I am so excited about that. And I'm going to show you the reason why I'm so excited about doing um, this particular video or tonight showing you my my desk space is because it's the first time I've really been crafting. You know, I had this beautiful craft room and I, I didn't really make anything in it. I just was so focused on my business that I never actually did anything else really. And so this time being in an RV, obviously I'm very limited in space. So I have to do everything from the spot. I do my business. I do my uh, morning routine, like my Bible study and everything. And then I do crafting and I am still crafting. It's so great. And I have some serious obsessions about some of the things I'm working on. One of them is a top secret, super secret project that I cannot wait to share with you guys. And I'm hoping that I'm going to have all of that to debut in the fall. It will include a whole line of products, physical products that you can purchase, um, and possibly purchase through Amazon. 
Mr. Crafty and I are um, doing some, we're going to be doing some beta testing to see how the whole Amazon thing works out. We're going to sell product through our website, but then have Amazon fulfill it. So that's going to be the next step. And we have two physical products in the works right now being manufactured that we're going to offer that way. So, um, that's super exciting. I want to get back to having some physical product as well as digital product because I like physical products and I have some really, um, I'm, I'm a product development girl now. Like I, I'm just, there's so many things I want to do and I have, um, some really great ideas in the hopper. So I'm going to be working on that, um, in the near future. Um, and the other thing I wanted to share to that point is I have a couple um, videos uh, that I'm going to be filming probably this weekend. One of them will be on this, my prayer binder. There's a little sneak peek that I've been using every day and I'm going to be doing a flip through. Hi, Miss Corey. A flip through on that. And then the other flip through video I'm going to be doing is on my altered book which I am super stoked. There's a little sneak peek of that. Um, but super stoked to show you um, the stuff that I have going. Hey, Miss Kathy, you know, one thing you can do is, is save uh, a file, like journaling cards, save a file on a flash drive and take it to Office Depot or Staples or Office Max. And their print quality is so amazing. Claudia talked about this on her, um, I think it was your Instagram account and you shared with it in the group as well, that when you take your stuff to like a professional printer, the, it just blows away the stuff our little desktop printers can do. My, my digital printables look so <laughs> incredible when they're printed that way. So, um, and Justina, I'm so glad to hear that you are still working on your altered book. So this is a project that I have really, really fallen in love with. And I hope to teach this class more and possibly do a workshop for it online as well. But this is something I wanted to share with you guys. I'm going to film a whole um, flip through video of it so that you'll see both. I'll have a faithful video and then a crafty video to share. So, um, and it's not expensive. Um, sometimes the, uh, the, the big box stores will run a sale on color copies. And that's what I would do is I would look for sales, um, and look for other types of printers as well. There's a lot of like small print companies. Um, the one we love and we actually have, um, all of our, our things that we've printed and sold to you guys, like our cardstock stickers, our die cuts, um, when they came on the sheet, our journal cards, all of those were made by, um, a chain called Sir Speedy and Sir Speedy. And I recommend them to at every workshop I teach at, they are all over the country. So they were our go-to. And so I would recommend you guys, um, check that out and see if that's a possibility because their pricing was really great and they often beat the, um, beat the big box stores. So these little videos are coming soon. Oh, sorry, Rhea. I didn't know you were sitting there. Okay. Oh my gosh. It's getting so hot in here. I had to turn the air conditioning off <laughs> so that you guys could hear me. <laughs> so, um, okay. And Mr. Crafty, Mr. Crafty, could you type Mark, could you type in Sir Speedy on here? Thank you. So Mr. Crafty type, there we go. See the um, website Sir Speedy is where I get all my color. They also have printed all of my printed inserts that you guys have ever purchased from me. Sir Speedy did all of those. They even um, will six, uh, six hole drill them. So they, they're my go-to. I love them. And Amanda, it is probably... 90 here. Um, I don't know for sure what it is, but, um, I'm going to guess it was probably 90 degrees today. It's hot. Oh, 99 degrees. I was off. I almost melted when I went out earlier today to go get my little nails done. Yikes. 
So, um, I do have one, just, I skipped over something here on my, um, my little list. Um, I do have one more event on the books for, um, September and it's in an area. I took a poll in the Facebook group and I had the highest amount of people in North and South Carolina say that they would attend a workshop. And now I have offered a workshop <laughs> and I'm wondering where are you guys at? Where is everybody at? Um, <laughs> Don said it's, it's uh, blazing hot here in Vegas and I'm sure that's true. Um, anyway, so you want to, um, if you want to attend one of my workshops, this one I have coming up, it's faithful glamping or not glamping. Sorry. It's faithful camp retreat and it is going to be at a real campground, not a, a retreat center. I should say it's got cabins and all of that. So I don't, as time goes on and if there's not enough people to sign up, we have to have a minimum to host it there. And so if that's not going to happen, you know, we're going to have to make that decision that we're going to have to either reschedule it or move it to a different, you know, part of the area, move it to a different location. Um, I'm not quite sure what the issue is. Sometimes like you have to kind of guess why aren't people signing up for something? Cause usually I don't have people not sign up <laughs> for something. So I'm not quite sure, but if you, you know, if you're from Pamela, as you've said, you're North Carolina. So in Kentucky, that counts. All of it counts. If you go on my calendar, um, on the resetgirl.com, you'll see in September the 14th and 15th, I have an event scheduled. So I would love to see your faces. It's, it's something that you're not ever going to forget. So, um, we're going to talk first about something I know a lot of you guys are super excited about. Look at up. See, there's all my North Carolina girls. Mary Ann, Bridget, Amber. So we are we're having an event and it's it's pinned in both of the um Facebook groups. I have it on the events like pinned as an event in both groups and I have it on my calendar. So I am We've emailed people that like all my customers from South Carolina, North Carolina and the surrounding. I've, we've emailed <laughs> to ask, <laughs> are you interested in coming? So what often happens is we'll have an event scheduled. And then at the very, like towards the very last minute where everything starts to get sold out, then everybody starts to notice it and then it's too late. So I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to, um, see Michelle you're from Kentucky. That's practically being a neighbor, right? Aren't that, isn't that being a neighbor of, um, so anyway, Miss Cobra, um, I am hoping to come back to the Kansas city area again. There, uh, that whole M Missouri, Kansas area. So I'm hoping to swing back through your area again, girl. Um, so let's talk about, um, Oh, and I see someone saying they're from Australia. So Miss Paula is actually scoping out Australia. She's scoping out the UK and Japan. So she has a lot of different things in the, um, the hopper. So, um, that would be, yes, Mandy. I know that that area, that whole Midwest area right there was wonderful. They're so many um, fun things I would love to do out in the Midwest. So I, I have actually been looking because I was looking for retreat places, like really cool, real life camp reset -y type places. So it is on my to-do list. And somebody was kind enough to post in the group here in the chat room, the link for the um, camp retreat we're having in North Carolina. So Okay. <laughs> Sorry, that was rude. It's not found for the North Carolina one. Um, that would be because Miss uh, Paula updated her website and has a new link if you're able to go to it and relink it. So, hi, Nikki, my fellow INFP. <laughs> so, um, Miss, I can't hear you. Miss Paula updated her website. She has a new website now. So, so 
if you could go to her website and get that link and then link it back to that. I, I thought that had happened already when she had updated it. Okay, ladies. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I have um, some updates, some exciting um, information here about Camp Reset. Karen, I just saw your, uh, before I run in there, um, I just saw your comment about Camp Chihuahua in Kansas City. So, um, so rest assured, I have some areas of the country picked out that I'm, that Paula and I have been kind of chatting about and seeing if we can find re a really cool retreat events, spaces in those areas, because I really want to give a very similar retreat each time I do it. I want everyone who attends a retreat to have the same kind of like wonderful experience. So it is a matter of, hi Joanne from Texas. It's a matter of, of getting that set up. And I know um, Miss Julie, uh, Wisconsin, such a beautiful area, Wisconsin, um, Minnesota, all that is just lovely lake land. So I, um, I have been looking in all those areas. So I just wanted you guys to know that I'm on it, we're on it, and we're trying to find other places to have events and um, because that's definitely on my my uh, heart to do. So let's talk about everybody's favorite topic right now, okay? <laughs> um, you're going to love this. This is like super high tech. <laughs> woo hoo hoo Okay. I set up a super fancy, let's see, PowerPoint <laughs> so that you could see it. I know that's super funny. Since I don't have the, um, the, all the multiple camera angles and I could just show you my laptop, I have to do this. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to, we're going to talk about camp reset because a lot of you guys are getting ready for bed. You're going to be needing to sign off soon. And I hate to make people feel tortured that I don't bring this up until the end of the show. So I'm bringing it up at the beginning before we launch into the other things so that you have a chance to hear um, some things about camp reset. And Cobra, I'm sure you're not alone. <laughs> I am the same way. Super, super notorious for signing up for things and then I don't actually do them, but I, I hold on to them. It's like I'm a hoarder of online workshops. Um, so I wanted to talk a moment about Camp Reset uh, 2017. So of all the things I personally have done, whether that has been my contribution to the planning community um, or uh, the, the things I've done, like, um, ha you know, in the, in the faith, faith space, uh, the one thing that I seem to have the most, um, feedback from has been the camp reset experience. I continue to get beautiful emails, loving comments. So many different ladies who have, I've gotten to meet in real life have said this was by far the, the thing I have loved the most that you've done. And it, it was, it was a game changer, changed my life. And, um, <laughs> I wanted to say thank you so much for taking the time to share your experiences about Camp Reset. I screen shot it as many as I could when I saw them so that I could keep them in a little, um, book for myself that's going on. Oh, thank you, sir. Okay. So, um, with that being said, I really wanted to reiterate, and especially for those of you who are not familiar with the Camp Reset experience, this is a self-care summer camp. It is an online virtual camp experience um, that gives you this um, kind of like leads you and guides you through a weekly process of completing prompts, completing challenges, having experiences, all those things so that you can really focus on you. I mean, who doesn't want to focus on you? <laughs> hi, Natasha. So, um, and hi, Jennifer. And Aaron, now is your chance, girl. It is time. 2018 is a new year. No broken ankle. That must have been horrible. 
So here is um, your opportunity for a do-over, a reset, if you will. So I really, really loved putting Camp Reset together. And the, the thing about it, which is really funny, is I started this idea for myself. I was just gonna personally create this little camp experience for me. Um, I had just lost my dad the month before and we were out of our house. We were literally sleeping on the floor of our office, <laughs> going to take showers at my friend's house. And um, we were in a big state of transition when Camp Reset started. It was such a, a difficult period of time for me and I really thought it would be good to like, you know, kind of give myself this like really focused time. And we were downsizing our office, moving out of the office. There was so much going on and putting it all together. I didn't actually get a chance to actually attend my own camp. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so I think it's a great lesson um, to be learned that even when I was struggling myself personally, and I, you know, w wanted to put this focus on self care that even when I didn't even have, you know, the ideal situation myself, that I was able to put together that experience for all of you guys. And it was probably the th one of the things I am most proud of that I have done as the reset girl. So I am super excited to um, share this year's camp reset with you and I'm gonna go over some little facts for you some little tidbits about what to expect hopefully what to expect in camp reset 2018 now as you guys know um, the original camp reset last year was free and I, I did that on purpose I wanted everyone to have that experience and it was an extremely, extremely expensive event to put on. I would not be able to offer it for free again, but I wanted to give you guys options in how you experienced Camp Reset. So as I share with you some of the things that it's going to be going on for it this, this year, um, I want you to just remember that the, what I'm sharing, nothing as is set in stone. It's not final yet. We're still sort of in the final planning stages. So what I share here is simply to like, hopefully get you guys excited and have you be thinking about camp resets coming and just kind of plan accordingly um, to the extent that you can. But just know that I might have to like tweak different things that I'm sharing now that I, because I just don't know what I don't know until I get there. Um, but I will be rolling out the launch for camp reset soon. I know that's my favorite word to use, but. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's just how I have to work sometimes is in the, the, uh, the area of soon. So um, Camp Reset is going to be different this year. And one thing that you're going to be able to do is buy Camp Reset, the experience. You're going to be able to purchase it separately from a Camp Reset uh, self-care workbook. So you can either, if you choose not to do Camp Reset, but you just want the workbook, I will have a special non camp reset edition made and then you can purchase just the camp reset. Like I just want to do the, the fun activities and have the printable content. You can have that separate. So there's three options, workbook only camp reset only, or having the camp reset edition workbook and camp reset. So, and it will be priced with a discount by buying the package. And I am not, I, my goal is to make this experience um, budget friendly. I'm, I want Camp Reset to be as possible for everyone as I can make it. So I want to be really clear about that. This is not something I'm like, I can't wait to make money on this. I'm <laughs> trying, I want you guys to feel like that's possible. If I'm willing to, you know, wiggle, wiggle here and there, I, I can make that work. I, it's going to be a budget friendly experience. Um, so having said that, the dates for launching are still to be determined. There's a few factors involved with that. And so I can't tell you for sure other than it's launching in July. And I will probably make um, it a pre-order product, something that you can pay for in advance about two weeks beforehand. So what that will do is just give you the opportunity then to get like yourself situated um, and one of the most fun things about Camp Reset this year 
which you guys are going to love is the fact that it's going to have its own website. So no more emailed content, you guys. It's going to be a dashboard. You just log in. That's all you have to do is log into your dashboard. Every week, the content will get freshly up uploaded, just like you got an email from me in the past. This time, you'll get all of that content uploaded into one place. So you'll have everything all together, week one, week two, week three. So you'll see it all. You'll have a library where all the printables will be as they get live. They'll start getting uploaded there. So you'll have two places to access them. So it'll be very, very, very nice. You guys won't have to email us. I didn't get the email. You won't have to worry about that at all. It'll always be like freshly waiting for you. As each week becomes live, you'll have one place to go. You'll have a classroom with an actual little video player. So all my pre-recorded videos will be waiting for you every time a new week goes live. You'll be able to watch my videos right there in the classroom. So it'll be wonderful. I have I have paid for these type of workshops before where they are in a classroom setting like teachable.com offers those type of platforms and they are so wonderful. It just makes everything so simple. All I have to do is remember how to log in <laughs> and that's all you have to do. Just bookmark that and you'll be good. Um, and here's something really exciting um, for you guys. Uh, this time Camp Reset is going to be six six weeks long. Woo! Can I get it? Woo woo! Six weeks! Yes! Everybody lose your mind! One thing I know a lot of you asked for was more time to do things, so six weeks. So my plan is, is that when you guys, um, when we kind of like open the doors to Camp Reset, you guys will have one week to, you know, get a hold of the print, the, um, the workbook, if you've chosen to purchase your workbook, you'll have a week to go get it printed. And then that way you're all set up. I'll have videos to show you how to get your little workbook set up and how you can use it. I, this workbook is going to be so amazing, hopefully. <laughs> it is like the crown jewel of my Camp Reset project here. So I'm... I'm really putting a lot of thought. It's it's a workbook I want you guys to be able to use all year long. It's not just for Camp Reset, but you'll continue to use it month over month um, so that you'll continue your self-care routines that you'll establish that you'll learn from Camp Reset. So you'll have one week of a setup and then you'll have five weeks of content. And it will be just like last year where you'll have the similar themes. So the first week is about, you know, the routine and habits of self-care. And then we'll do um, our healthy sips and snacks. We'll focus on creativity and focus on movement. And then we're going to have a bonus week, which I'm not going to spoil the surprise. So you'll have five weeks of fun content. Um, the, and the, speaking of content, you're going to have a private Facebook group. Um, for this one. So I'm not going to be using last year's group. It's going to be a private group that only paid Camp Reset members will have access to. And you'll have access to the, that group until next year when Camp Reset 2019 launch, launches. So you guys will be able to be all together, supporting each other, cheering each other on. You girls are so awesomely encouraging. So you'll be all together for that, that year um, until 2019 comes. So um, during Camp Reset, which is the six-week experience, you'll have a live Facebook video every week. You'll do weekly challenges, games, and activities in the Facebook group, similar to what we did last year. And this year, we are going to have a special Listers Got a List edition for Camp Reset. Whoop, 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 whoop. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll out Listers got a list for your the camp reset experience and you guys will have special prompts designed just for you and this experience and you'll get to list and, and you'll get to do that in your workbook so you'll have this wonderful book that's like part function and part memory keeping and hopefully will help you to get to be really focused on self-care and this time we will also have some guest camp counselors who will lead us in doing some fun crafts. So I have um, outlined everything already so I know what I'm going to be doing for Camp Reset. And I have to tell you, this is like the most fun thing, the most exciting thing that I do is this cool, <laughs> 
this cool experience and putting it together for you, like wanting to surprise you, wanting to delight you. Um, I definitely want to um, under promise and over deliver. So I, I wanted to share that information with you so that you knew that it, I am putting a lot of uh, thought and intentionality into this um, project and that your camp reset experience will be the best one you've had yet and will make you want to be like a camp superstar. And to that point, because I know a lot of you girls love those badges, I'm going to be bringing back the badges as well. So you'll get to earn badges um, just like you would if you were in Girl Scouts. And I, I was a Girl Scout and I remember <laughs> how exciting it was to earn my badge. As a matter of fact, okay, hang on one second, guys. When my mom and I were cleaning out <laughs> her office, I, she found this. It's my, <laughs> it's my little Girl Scout um, button. So it's like one of my memorabilia from, the, um, from when I was a kid. So I uh, thought that was really funny. I'm going to hang it up somewhere where I can see it because I love those badges. How many of you girls were in Girl Scouts or were in some kind of Scouts where you had to um, earn the badges? It was so fun. So the two things, as I mentioned earlier, the two things I don't know for a fact today is I don't have the price determined, the like finalized, and I don't have the dates determined. But that will be coming as soon as I have that set up. I will go ahead and you know give you guys a, a, a page where you can go read more details, and then I'll open registration. So there'll be a period of time between registering and it going live. So I just have to like balance all of that and make sure that, um, make sure it all launches in excellence. Cause as you guys know, my launches <laughs> sometimes <laughs> have issues. Um, I, I, I agree Cobra. <laughs> I don't remember having this much fun in Girl Scouts. Um, but I am determined to make your camp reset experience the best ever. And that just know that everything I'm doing, I do with such love for you guys. I know that, you know, I think of each one of you and how this is going to affect you. Getting to see those emails and hear how, how exciting it was. Knowing that some of you, your husbands participated, your kids participated. That just, I can't begin to even tell you how good that makes me feel to know that what I'm doing makes an impact on your lives. That is all I could ask for. I care about that more than planning or stickers or any of the other stuff, you know, that I've gotten to do. This stuff is, it's everything to me. So making impacts on on real lives that just matters so much. So I do want this to be something that um, you're set up for success. And I really hope that, you know, those of you, I know that a, a lot of you have kids and jobs outside the home and no matter what is going on in your life, I hope that there are still aspects of Camp Reset that you will focus on and accomplish and do even if things are going on in your life. Even if you have physical issues and can't do certain things, that there are other things in Camp Reset that you, you'll do. And I'm going to set up little tools for you, hopefully, <laughs> that will remind you how important it is to be part of the live Camp Reset experience. You'll have access to all this stuff. You know, months later, you'll still be able to look at all of it. But it's really different when you're with your peeps and you're getting all this content fresh out of the gate and you're working together and encouraging each other. So I really, really want to um, let you know that that's going to be foremost on my mind is helping you like really get the most out of this experience. So it is coming, ladies. It's coming. Um, hi, Tiana. I'm so glad that you were here. I just finished wrapping up talking about Camp Reset. <laughs> Um, and just so that you know, if you have to, if you're popping in late or you have to leave early, you can always watch the entire video after it's done recording. It will be available in the Facebook group, the Happy Place Club, and Mr. Crafty will probably end up uploading it to YouTube as well so that you can watch it there. So you will be able to access everything I just talked about. And I love to hear that you still have your door hanger on. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome, Jamie. Um, and 
I am going to be bringing back some of that fun swag. I have like some new things made, a new door hanger, um, all that fun stuff. Now, one thing I do want to, to remind you is there will be printable. You'll get lots of printables with this Camp Reset experience. They will still be included. But one kit that I'm um, going to be using is the Reset Your Goals kit because it has the focus of having goals, which is what self-care is. It's a goal for me. So we do have some Reset Your Goals kits left. I try to encourage you guys to get them before we shut down the physical store. So Mr. Crafty and I are going to retrieve the kits from storage and we're going to ship them ourselves. Um, what we have left. So I would really um, make sure that you keep your eyes peeled. Um, I'll probably want to, I'll probably pin it as an event on my calendar and in the Facebook groups, both of them to let you know when the kits are going to go on sale, because again, they are going to be limited. Um, we've already sold, sold through a lot of them. So I'm not even sure exactly how many are left, but they're going to be really awesome to use for this fun experience. You'll get some printables for d decor um, and that good stuff. But this will be uh, for like deck using in your book. I don't want to share too much information. But anyway, I wanted to let you know, though, that that's coming. I'm not doing a physical camp reset kit. I'm going to be using the reset your goals kit and then you'll get the printables. And I'm going to be really explicit with the directions on how to have them printed you know, making sure that you print them on the right type of paper. And that way, for those of you who take, you know, you don't want to print them at home, it's really easy just to take them to Office Max or Staples and just hand over the file and say, hey, I need all this stuff printed. Because that's what I personally like doing is handing it off to somebody else. <laughs> so um, anyway, so I don't remember the price of those kits. Um, I will have more information. Um, that's okay, Tiana. I'm glad you're using your kit. Um, we're going to go, <laughs> I've been staring at mine too, Paula. I actually haven't, other than what you guys saw me do, like in the, one of the late night crafty clubs, or I used a few of the pieces I haven't used anymore either <laughs> because I know that, um, I know that I like, that's it. Like it is, it's a kit that I'm not, I don't plan on bringing it back the same, you know, making more of them. So I am really careful with them. And yes, Sharon, we ship all over, we will be shipping all over the world. So as we used to before and Miss Sarah, there will be some um, product that comes with camp reset, like printables. So you'll have those to use that are, it's going to be like, um, if you guys remember retreat, that was the kit I did last year. We took some of the artwork from retreat. We took some artwork from other kits in the past and we recolored them. We added new patterns. And so we created a whole new digital kit, um, for camp reset. It's just kind of like a little, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. It's not super extensive. There'll be some journaling cards, um, but you have a lot of stuff to do in your workbook. You're going to be doing lots of decorating in there, memory keeping and listing. So there's going to be lots of stuff, um, that, uh, you're going to be, um, using to decorate. So I will, um, definitely have all of that put together though in advance so you guys will be able to um, know in advance all the prices and the dates. I'll have all of that out to you guys as soon as I can so that you can plan accordingly. Um, and again, just to reiterate, um, you know, my intention is to try to make Camp Reset as, as avail uh, budget friendly as possible because that's something that's really important to me as many people can take it as they can. Like that's to me, like I think of single moms, you know, I really want people to be able to have the camp reset experience. So we've talked about camp reset. Are there any questions that I can answer for you in the next few minutes before we launch into the desk tour? <laughs> Does anybody have a question I can answer? And Connie, I love that you're buying new hiking boots. I think that's, that's great. I, I think that, um, I bought myself new shoes for camp reset last year and I didn't use them enough, not nearly as much as I should have used, but I got myself new. In fact, I found some of the things I bought last year. So we are going to do that again. We're going to have a packing list. We're going to, I'm going to do a video 
so that you guys will like see how I'm packing for camp reset because I seriously pack like I literally pack for camp reset I put together a tote or a bin and have all my little self-care items together this year is kind of challenging because of my space restrictions and I really 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 want to um, um, and uh, Patty um, camp is gonna start sometime in July I don't want to say, like, I don't even want to say this is my goal of when it will start because I hate saying something and then not being able to deliver. So I'm going to be doing it um, sometime in July. And I'm trying to pay attention. And the workbook that you guys are getting this time, it's going, it's not going to be for the A5 or a TN because I don't want this to be planner specific. It's going to be something like a letter size and you can either coil bind it. You can like, you can have staples, put a coil into it. Um, you can put it on discs and turn it in like, you can use it with your, your large size happy planner if you want. Um, but I'm going to show you three different ways you can, um, create with the workbook, like create a <laughs> like bind it I guess I should say so you could probably oh yeah you could even put it in a three ring binder there's actually four ways to um, do this um, this uh, workbook that's going to be coming out so the thing about a letter size workbook it'll give you lots of room to do all the fun things we're going to be doing um, and I, I, I was very very thoughtful about why I wanted to use this particular size um, I think A5 is great if you want to use a planner, but I don't want to make this that you have to have a planner. And A5 is actually kind of hard to print and cut for people. And if you want to print this at home, I do not want you fussing and, and worrying about, well, how am I going to get this all cut? And I don't want to have to create a whole new size of printables. What I want to do is make this as simple as possible for you guys to just use your workbook. So printing it on a letter size paper, you can still um, coil bind it. You can um, you can use coils. You can use a, the spiral. You can use disc bound. I'm going to show you how I'm going to make covers. There'll be covers for the workbook. So I I I think you guys are really going to love having more space to work in. And when you're done, it's going to feel like kind of like a smash book a workbook, a goal setting book, it's going to really, it's going to be awesome. So yes, Jennifer, and you'll be, you'll be able to move things around. If you do a disc bound or a um, three ring binder, you can totally adjust things that way. Um, you can make dividers for it and like separate it. So it'll be super fun. I promise. Um, okay. Oh, Sarah, that's so cute. Collecting camp ephemera. So, um, the one thing I did collect that was like vintage is I cut, I found this little girl scout camera, this little vintage girl, and it was like in really good condition. It actually had the original box and a flash. It had like all the little pieces that came with it. So this is my little vintage girl scout camera that I got, um, that I, Kathy, then perfect. This will be great if you have the three hole punch and just use a regular binder and binders are fun. Like I did not, I've kind of forgot how fun binders are to, to decorate and set up. So there will be lots of really fun ways to do this. And I got this little camera from eBay. If you search for vintage Girl Scout camera, um, you, you'll find they have probably, I think there's like three different versions. This is just one style that they actually had. Isn't it adorable? Okay. So I think I've covered all camp reset. I don't see any questions coming at me. I know that the two things that, <laughs> that you guys most want to know are the two things I can't really tell you, but I truly hope that I've given you enough to be, get you excited and really wanting to do Camp Reset again and, and making the commitment to yourself that Camp Reset is something you're willing to do. I think that of all the different things you can do for self-care as a self-care thing, like Camp Reset is one of the best things you can do for yourself. Um, and Lisa, there's no faith component. There's no, there's not a faith uh I don't know how to say that. So it's not faith-based. However, um, I am going to have a couple videos for girls who are faithful, who 
um, are in my faith group that if they want to um, do like a couple little crafty things that I want to do, um, they can. you can watch those videos, but you don't have to. There's nothing else that's faith related. And yes, Camp Reset did start July 1st last year. I unfortunately cannot launch it on July 1st. That much I can tell you, it will not launch on July 1st. <laughs> I definitely have a, um, I have a lot um, to make sure happens before that. So I know I won't be able to do it then. Um, and I, I don't know Ed's, I don't know how any of the Amazon works. That's all Mr. Crafty's thing. And I, so I can't answer that question, unfortunately. I just know that um, we're going to try having Amazon fulfill our order, which means we have to physically ship the product to them and they store it and then they ship it on our behalf. So you guys won't get all the fun little bells and whistles that we always did with our packaging, but you'll get it faster. <laughs> um, if you are a Prime member, you know, that's a possibility that those products will be available for Prime. Again, I don't know how any of that stuff works. So, um, and yes, Teresa, thank you for asking. She loved it. And guess what she said? I think all of you guys will appreciate this. So Teresa just asked if my mom um, liked her Mother's Day gift, which was that TN I made for her. And she said exactly what most of us, including myself, often says when you see something that you think is real pretty, you go, oh my gosh, I don't even want to write in it. I'll ruin it. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, that was kind of funny because I think I've seen people say stuff like that so many times. Like you'll get something pretty or you'll make something pretty and then go, I don't want to ruin it. So hi, Bessie. I'm so glad that you were able to join us. And hi, Melissa Harris. Paula just outed you <laughs> that you're here with us. So, um, yes, Kesia, she did love it. So, um, I, um, uh, I'm sorry, I'm looking at multiple comments. So I just want to make sure I'm responding. So, um, yes, I'm, I'm so glad she loved it too. It was, I, I filmed her opening everything. Usually my mom is not like, a, she's not a really emotional person like I am. And so it was kind of fun watching her because she actually did get more emotional over the gift than I thought. And she was so proud of it. She has shared it with everybody, um, her little tote and everything. So I, I've just, all I care about is that she use it <laughs> for her growing her, her, um, her faith walk. So, so hello everybody. So Bessie had to get her dinner off the grill priorities. So, um, so Ed's, uh, you're not purchasing it from Amazon. You'd be purchasing anything that we sell on it through Amazon. Um, we're going to start off. Amazon lets you do something a little interesting. So I can sell product from my shop, but they will be the one who fulfills it. That's one of the options that they make available, which I think is really cool. So you still would use your login and all that stuff on our site, and then they would be the ones shipping it to you. So I just don't know anything about that. So Aaron asked about prepping for camp. So, um, what I would say is the thing I most want you guys to think about at this point in the game, if you're considering doing camp reset, is that I would start scoping out a spot for yourself in your house or apartment or RV or wherever you are, some spot that's going to be where you do your self care. It could be in your yard. I mean, it's summertime. For those of you who live practically on the sun, <laughs> that is not an option. Then pick a, I don't care if it's your closet. I don't care if it's some quiet part of the house where you can have a little bit of privacy if you have kids. Um, some place where you can just kind of close yourself off from. If you don't have a separate living space, if there's a way of hanging up a sheet to create a divider, whatever it takes. I saw one precious person last year um, hi, Celia. One precious person actually put a tent up in her bedroom and it was the cutest thing ever. Her, her husband took a picture of her sitting in her tent, <laughs> um, enjoying herself, you know, and he took a picture from the bed taking, you know, looking at her. I thought it was the cutest thing ever. So I, I, I think that's wonderful. If you want to put together a little tent, just know that you have some spot to go to 
that's just kind of like where you can set up your camp and kind of like in your mind, that's my little cabin. That's my little space because the wonderful thing about camp reset is it's really about using your imagination. I try really hard to put a lot of, um, a lot of thought into making this camp experience feel real to you, whether that's even me sitting by a lake, you know, when I do my live video or it's the materials that you get, I try really hard to help you visualize that. So that's how I want you to like, just consider that part for now is really where am I going to be the most successful and want to go have my camp reset time? You're going to be getting a little door hanger, you know, to hang on the door. So kind of prep your family. If you've got kids, especially little kids or, you know, your husband kind of prep them. I'm going to be doing camp reset this summer. It's kind of a six week gig. And I want to know that I can have one hour every week uninterrupted to do this thing. So I would start laying the groundwork now, <laughs> you know, that I'm, oh, Miss Shelly, that was you. That was the cutest thing ever, ever. I, I took a screenshot of that because that really did, that really just warmed my heart so much to see you in your little <laughs> tent. <laughs> Some of you girls had your little, um, you had little, you went and got vintage suitcases. If you guys love vintage, you could go to thrift stores right now. Look for those old hard sided um, suitcases, the little um, overnight train cases. You can look on eBay. Um, I'm not encouraging. I don't want you to go and spend money you don't have. But, you know, if that's something that would be more meaningful to you to have your little kind of a cool little toolbox for those kinds of things, by all means, do that. You know, that's something that... Um, if it helps you, if it motivates you, that's something you can kind of put together now is get a little toolbox together. Um, I, you don't have to worry about filling it, but get some kind of tote or box or bin or a little travel case, something that you're going to put all your little goodies in, your self-care goodies. We're going to be doing some crafts. We're going to be doing healthy sips and snacks. Um, we're going to be doing movement. So like kind of put together things that you think are going to help you, whether that's like a really nice water bottle. Um, you know, if you want to kind of keep your eye out for something like that, that's why I was mentioning my double walled <laughs> um, water glass. See, it did make its appearance again. So if you wanted to get something like this for camp reset, I'm probably going to end up spilling that on my laptop. Okay. Let me move this out of the way that has served its purpose. I feel like, hello, hello. So, um, something like that is here. Oh, you know what you guys, <laughs> I forgot. I actually, I told you I put together this PowerPoint and then I forgot to show it to you. So here's like, look, our, our swimming pool at camp reset where you can sit by the side and like talk with your girlfriends, drink wine at night, you know, giggle and laugh. See, doesn't that look so cute? Whoop, whoop. You're going to get a playlist again. You're going to get several playlists, different things. I'm going to give you access to these like really cool Pinterest boards I'm making for you guys. So you'll have all these fun new, new things to look at, um, different from last year too. So, um, yes, Veronica mentions the painting of rocks. I am not sure if we're going to do painting rocks again. I, I'm on the fence about it. I like the idea. I'm not sure if I want to do something different. So we'll see how that goes. But um, we are going to do a fun little craft um, kind of a service project um, in, in the if you're a faithful girl and you want to do this little service project every Sunday um, uh, in the in the camp reset materials, there will be something for you to work on on Sunday. Um, that's going to be something that's crafty and servicey. So I'm going to put together different activities um, because you might be interested in one thing and not another. So there'll be uh, some fun things um, and then canoeing. <laughs> so, um, we'll, we'll have canoe races, right? And stuff like that. So we'll be, you know, wearing bikinis, sipping wine, looking fabulous <laughs> at camp reset. We're all a size four. So this room, this picture so reminded me of the parent trap. I love that movie. I think I remember someone saying that they were watching um, that movie last year just to remember how fun, you know, camp is. And then here's my analog <laughs> slide. <laughs> 
Isn't that beautiful? So there we go. There's a, the picturesque view from your cabin will be of the, of the mountains in the distance. So come ladies, come, come join us at, at Camp Reset. <laughs> so that is my Camp Reset presentation. Okay. All right. Um, and then what we're going to do next is the desk tour because I want to do that before I mess up everything, uh, doing, um, doing everything. So Colleen says you'd be happy at 10. Girl, I hear you. I'd be happy at 10 too. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> it's so funny to me when you're at, when you've been different weights, you know, throughout your life and you look back at at a weight that you'd kill to be at now and you go, why did I ever say that I was overweight or unhappy with what I was? Because now I would do anything to be that size again. It's so funny. Jennifer, you just said you watched Parent Trap. Maybe you were the one who shared that in the group and said that because I remember that part that somebody shared that they watched it. Okay. So Mr. Crafty has joined me. He's, are you going to help me? Are you doing your Yes. Thing. So I'm going to take the camera down yeah, from its do little, uh, its little claw, the claw that it's been attached to. And then I'm going to take you on a tour, a magical tour of my desk space. And I, today I kind of, and just, just so you know, it's actually been pretty much this tidy for several weeks, but, um, getting crafty and, wanting to work in a nice clean space as much as possible. It's really forced me to kind of be more, um, be, be more intentional with what I work on and what I've been using. So that's, that's been a really good thing that this, this has all been. Yay. Okay. So do I just tilt it like this? Okay. Yep. Woo. Okay. So you guys, there's my view. <laughs> that's not camp reset out there, but that's my view every day is a neighborhood. And I feel, I don't know if you guys remember Bewitched and Samantha had that nosy neighbor, Mrs. Kravitz. I totally feel like Mrs. Kravitz now. I'm always watching what's going on in the neighborhood because there's always people walking by our RV window. <laughs> And you're perched up on high. And I'm here. perched up here and I can see everything. So I feel super nosy lately. Okay. So, wow. I really need my glasses to read the comments on the phone, honey. <laughs> my eyes, I think, are getting worse because I just don't. Is Rita still with us? Yes, she She's is. Your feet. Hi, Rita. We're going to do a desk tour here in a minute. I don't know if that's going to freak you out or if you're going to be able to. Okay. Ooh, I can see now. Okay. Melissa, you said that you still wear the same earrings you wore in high school. How cute is that? Okay. So there's my view, as I said. Okay. So I'm going to, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to swing you around from one side of the, hi, Denise. How are you? I'm so glad to see you. Okay, um, just adjusting a couple things here. So Lynn, if Bewitched was your favorite, hi Ashley, hi Ashley Payne. Um, do you remember Mrs. Kravitz? I think she wore a lot of like, I don't know why, maybe I'm thinking of Andorra, but I th one of the characters wore a lot of moo-moos. Ugh, okay. Um, okay, so we're gonna start, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna like, um, do you guys want me to open doors and drawers and stuff so you can peek in? If you guys want to see the full Monty, I will totally show it to you. Mr. Crafty put up lights in here because it's starting to get a little darker. So he wanted to make sure I, I could see everything. Okay. Don't hold the phone, baby. I Sorry. put it in this so you don't hit any of the buttons on oh, accident. Oh, okay. Did I? Uh, I Indora so. wore moo's. Okay. Julie, uh, Mrs. Roper wore them too. The seventies was a year of, was a, an era of moo's. <laughs> okay. So over here to the left is where all my mess is because this is all the stuff I'm getting rid of that I pulled out of one 
one bin is all spread out. I, I'm so embarrassed I can't even show you guys. So um, anyway, and over here, over there yonder, um, Justina and Denise, if you guys are still here. So that, um, these little pillowcases I have over here, there we go. Those, I just got them on eBay because I wanted to have those mismatched floral pillowcases like they have at the Whatever Craft House. So I'm recreating that experience. So starting here, this is where my little craft space begins. I have my little washi rings um, up there, quite a few. I, I don't know how or what happened. I used to have just, how many did I used to have? It felt like I only had two. And then something happened, and I'm not sure what, because I don't really remember buying a bunch of washi, but now I'm up to four rings um, and my hat. So here is, on this top, this is uh, a little, this was one of my Christmas, this was a Christmas present from my daughter. In each of these envelopes, and this is so cool, you guys, because my daughter is not crafty, but she made each of these little envelopes with scrapbook paper, that we had in our office and she wrote me a letter for each month of the year. This is probably the most thoughtful gift she's ever given me and I absolutely love it. She has like memories of stuff that we did um, when, you know, when we were younger and stuff together in there and I really loved that. So um, this was one of my birthday presents. <laughs> it's, the, it's a little pig in a mug. He is so precious. I can't even stand it. So none of us remember <laughs> buying all the washi. <laughs> That sounds like, I, I sound like I'm in um, denial. I don't remember how that got there. But it's true, I swear. I really do not understand how that happened. Um, so in here is my one, something I can't share with, with you yet. Um, my little clock, I actually have an analog clock because I try not to touch my phone or la like laptop sometimes, um, especially during Bible time. So I have an analog clock so I can keep track. This is going to be a video I'm going to show you guys. <laughs> Sarah Washi Amnesia. <laughs> that sounds like it should be a hashtag. Um, that's sweet, Bessie. So in this little bin are all these little journals that I have, and they're all new. So I want to do a, um, a video for you guys to show how I'm using all these little journals. Some of them are so stinking cute, I can't even stand it. Like this one is ridiculous cute. Um, I use this one for writing... Um, ideas for the podcast in here and then like I have some like I have a new one this one is so cool so this is where I keep all my little journals now they're all in this bin and then I have these two little um, dishes these came from home goods and there's actually a third one and I just I'm not sure where it is I'm gonna open up nothing <laughs> this drawer and this drawer were completely packed with so much nonsense I can't even tell you so today I decided to just clear everything out and start at, at just ground zero and then put it all back and I love that washi amnesia that has to be a hashtag so I was thinking of making one of these drawers for like my printers my digital printers because I don't do any memory keeping and I think part of it which I think is a lot for all of us is that it's just too much of a pain to get my um printers out and get them set up. So I'm thinking about doing that here. So anyway, this little cabinet, which I got from Home Goods, also, it, it has feet, but we took them off so that it wouldn't tip over. And inside my cabinet, sorry, Rita, did I just bump into you? Okay. So in my cabinet here, these are all, um, these really cute, sorry, what? this door won't stay open. But my pig mug will make it stay open. Okay, so in here I have all of these little um, storage boxes. And there's different types of ephemera or memorabilia in them. So they get bigger with... They get sub, sub, uh, substantially bigger? Sub, sub, <laughs> sequentially bigger? Um, I keep a lot of like scrapbook paper that's like scraps, like little teeny pieces and partial pieces so that's in here in this one and I think this one's empty I just haven't started separating all of my ephemera in here so they have like a like a magnet and they look like little stereos so right now they are in here and 
I will get those all set up so that they're more useful. This is one of the empty boxes from the Carpe Diem planners, and these things make bomb ephemera, like, or art journaling uh, storage. A, because you can look through the, the lid, and they're really sturdy. So I had many of them, you can, as you can imagine. So this one hasn't been given a job yet, but eventually it will. And then I have more of those. These I found at Home Goods. They're square. And um, they're, <laughs> they're empty because I took mine, um, I took what was in them and I put them in something else. So I just haven't put them back to work, but I will be doing that shortly. So this is where I figure I would keep a lot of my ephemera, art journaling, papers, everything would be kind of like sorted and really easy to, to get. And here I have a bin that's all little clips. All kinds of clips, binder clips, paper clips. Look how cute these are, you guys. They are the teeniest little paper clips. I'll put them next to a small paper clip so that you can see how little they are. Aren't those so cute? It's like a baby and it's mama. So, and Felicity Jane sold some too. And theirs are like rose gold. So I use those a lot in the, the, the super secret project I've been working on. So this was a gift from um, somebody at a workshop made this for me at the, glamp, the Faithful Glamping Retreat. How sweet is that? And I actually put it to use. I had a, a job for it. And then I have these little boxes, which I got in Tennessee. If you've ever been to Gavin. Ah! Something just fell off. I'm not sure why it was my glass. Sorry about that. Okay. So in here, um, empty, <laughs> but, uh, I've been using these to store different things like here. Here's like my reset your goals kit. So all the pieces to that kit are all in here. There's like tons of stickers that came in that kit and then the, um, the little tabs. So, I broke it down and put it in this in case I decided to make a video that I could just grab this really easy. And sometimes that's what I use these boxes for is like staging things for a video. So I have specific types of craft materials handy and the boxes were so cute. I actually bought those boxes empty from, <laughs> from the little chocolate shop in Gatlinburg because they were so cute down here. Um, these are all punches, all kinds of punches. These are the, my favorite, favorite six hole punches that punch a five is the kw trio that's what this one is nikki if you go to that little um the old smoky candy kitchen and ask to buy those they will they will let you we have we have actually tracy and i established the precedent no one had ever asked them in the history of the store <laughs> to buy these boxes empty but look how cute they are. And this, I have to tell you, these are the best chocolates I've ever had, ever. They are so good. Um, so here's all the punches. A lot of these I use in my paper punch buffet. Um, we are really deliberate about like finding a really cool punch and then making a printable sheet to match it. And we have a new um, punch that we're going to be releasing some stuff for. I'll show you in a minute. You guys are going to love it. Um, so here's all my... Uh, punches and things like my um, what do you call those things? It's a ah, <laughs> I can't think of the word an embossing heat tool for drying something like paint. Um, and look, I have an old school Avery label maker, the mustard yellow. This is the one I had as a kid, so I have one of those. And then over here in this one, I have more punches. I just bought these and I cannot wait to show you guys what we're going to be doing with these. They are the happy planner punch. So you make the exact same size as the weekly box. So I have the large one and the smaller classic one, which I'm so excited about. So I want to um, put together some printables that will go with these and show you how much fun they are because I'm in love with them. And then here's the little label buddy label maker that I use every 
all through in all my crafting I love this so much and the reason I love it is because I have wood grain um, tape <laughs> I bought this from somebody on eBay and it was like 10 rolls of this 1970s wood grain tape. But um, it, it's it's so awesomely 70s. I love it so much. So this is what I use together. I like the font on this one better than the, um, the Avery one. So that's why I tend to use that. And my little guillotine. So that is what's in this cabinet. And then back there on the floor is my um, suitcase that's full of ephemera and art journaling paper and all kinds of like just mismatched paper, sewing pattern paper. All that paper back there in that bin is all like scraps. It's not like full sheets. I just bought the the We Are Memory Keepers paper storage box off of um, uh, American Crafts. So I have some paper in here. I buy packs of paper, so like if I like a pattern, I'll buy 25 sheets of it um, to craft with. And then I have a bunch of, this is paper I've separated out for a project. And since we're down here on the floor, um, on the shelf I have a tote. This is the black tote. It matches the pink one that I usually um, have. And this has got all of my, um, hi Rita, <laughs> hello. Thanks for joining us today. Um, this has got all of my artistry stuff. So there's like pit pins in here. There's like the watercolor crayons. There's a, um, this is from Marine Parents. And it has, I have a lettering kit in here. Isn't that so beautiful? But I bought this like a couple years ago from Hand Lettered Truth and I've yet to use it. Um, I also have the pencils, the fancy ones. I got these in Switzerland when we went there. Um, so I've yet to use these. For some reason, I, I guess I don't really reach for my like, my crafty things. Bye, Rita. <laughs> Rita's getting kicked out. Um, I got this at the event. Shauna gave one to each of us. <laughs> I think it's super funny. So... Cobra, if you are looking for one of these, these are sold at Sears. They have this one for boys, the black and gray one. And then they have a more feminine one, which is the pink one. And they actually have a yellow one, too. I think they had more colors, although I don't know if they're still available. But they had other colors the last time I ever checked there. So there's this whole um, kind of shelfy thing down here. And underneath here is where the engine of the RV is. So it's kind of uneven. It has like a hatch. So that's why I put the rug down. And then that is like built over the radiator. So it becomes either a footrest or a place to put stuff. <laughs> so right now there's stuff. Okay. So this window is shut right now. Otherwise it would be like bright shining sunshine in here. My letter board where I have one of my um, favorite scriptures on. And then this fun little rack. I have turned this rack um, into paper storage and I have different types of paper in here for some of the crafts that I'm super obsessed with right now. So this is a bunch of torn out pages that came out of my altered book. So now I can use this for crafting. Um, I have some spiral paper. All I have to do is take out the spiral and I have all that delicious paper for writing. I have some A5 paper that's all graph and not punched. I have plain white paper I have, here's some spiral like this, and then I have the lined paper for my prayer binder. This one actually has some washi attached to it. And then I have some um, spiral paper that came out of a notebook. All of this paper is used either in my altered book, um, my crafty commonplace book, my prayer binder, or a planner. So that's what all of that goes for. So having it all in one spot is really convenient and I can just grab what I need and um, can journal. So when I show you the walk through the flip through of my altered book, it'll make sense why I have like p paper like that. It's so that I have a writing space because when you work in a book, it's full of copy, it's full of text. So you have to cover that with something to write on it. So it just made sense to use actual note paper. So here is my tray um, that I, I set this up the other day and I'm like, why didn't I do this sooner? So 
me get this out of the way. So first is this little piece. This actually was a little, um, it's made from, it's an acrylic piece and it's an original. It comes from the little overnight train case that I got on, um, Kathy, no, there isn't. I'm going to be filming a video of my altered book that I made at the retreat to show everyone. So I'll be sharing that. I'm going to film it this week and I'm going to try because I really want you guys to see this. So in here is I keep all kinds of like little writing papers, like these little guest checks. These have um, more of that spiral notebook, plain um, notepad. I have these little guest, these little sales book. They're like little two-part receipt pages but these are great for journaling on it's like a nice little three by four size and then you can add that to your scrapbook or smash book or your crafty commonplace book and then here's a guest check book in here i have a bunch of reset girl stickers a lot of these are like the layering circle love collection because i'm obsessed with my layering circles and i use them for everything hi victoria happy to see your little face so i have a bunch of those type of stickers that i keep in here um i have lots of um, really simple little journal cards for journaling um, these are reset girl brand um, journaling cards some library cards for writing on i have index cards and then i have these are for my planning or journaling but these are special edition stickers i've never released these because i had them <laughs> custom made for me they're like these cute little journaling stickers with like ledger in them and they are in the full i think there's two of each they're like in the full color um palette of the trg my trg color palette these are so cute so i wanted to use these in my planner and so they're in the full range like look how many <laughs> Look how many different colors I have. So all of these are going to go into my planner. I have been working on setting up a planner, believe it or not. But I'm actually going very non-traditional. I want to try something different. So I have, haven't have shown you guys yet what I'm working on, but will shortly. So here's all of my journaling stuff um, in here. And then look at these little teeny tiny little flash cards. They're super cute. I have this little pack of them. Um, see, they're like little, so I use these in some of my projects too. So in addition, this tray and this, all, both of these came from home goods because home goods is the bomb for buying stuff for your, um, for your op for, uh, organization. So in here, I've been keeping a lot of like word strip stickers. So these are all word strips. And then these are all the alphas I've been using in here. So, and then I have some scissors and I have, these are from the Faithful Girl collection stickers that I, that we had manufactured. And they've only been available to workshop attendees, but eventually we're going to have them redone and made into like sticker books that you can buy. And then the last thing I keep in here is my master notebook. It's right there. And then every day I pull this box out. Hi, Nina. And these are the, um... I use these as highlighters. These are Tombow pens. And, um, yay, Cheryl. <laughs> I'm so glad you found it. <laughs> um, so I love when you guys are actually doing stuff while I'm talking. That's what I hope is going to happen in the Late Night Crafty Club because I know that it's like I'm not doing something that exciting. So I'm hoping that you guys just kind of turn it on and like listen in the background while you're doing something. That's what so many people tell me they do. So I use these for my Bible reading. I, I highlight different things with them. So I keep them in my little tray so that I have access. And this was another candy box I asked um, them to sell me because... I just thought it was so adorable. So I keep those in there. And then here in this, this is from Tuesday morning. I've had this for a super long time. This has got some stamps. These stamps were hand selected for the crafting project I've been working on lately. So I have um, roller stamps in here. There's the Reset Girl roller stamp. These are some other Krill Cleric stamps. I have some Krill clear acrylic blocks and a cleaner and then these are 
the um, paper punch buffet trays, which you can buy two for $7.99 at um, thecontainerstore.com. And they're called a desk organizer tray. They're on my favorites list because I love them. And you get two of them. So this tray has like my go-to glue stick. My favorite, favorite, favorite glue stick. Um, I have a ton of it. So I keep lots of it out because I go through it all the time. Tiana Girl, right? The French notebooks. <laughs> they are amazing. If you guys have a home goods in your area and you see... There's a brand of notebook, and I think I covered all mine up, but there's a brand of notebook called Fringe Notebooks, and that's where all these, that's where my master notebooks come from. This Fringe Notebook had a little emblem in it, but um, this is actually two of those put together to make one big giant notebook. The Fringe Notebook quality of paper is just so delicious, I can't even explain it. So I have two of them. I was showing this on Instagram the other day. So here's two of them put together. You can see one of them was gold and one of them was rose gold, but I didn't even care. So um, that's what I've been doing is making them into these giant notebooks. This particular doesn't have that little emblem. Some of my early ones did and now they don't make them that way anymore. So we just covered these the other day and now I have them, but I got excited. so. I jumped ahead. So in here I have, this is brand new washi. I just got it. That's right, Cindy. You can get the French notebooks at Marshall's. Um, and I think TJ Maxx too. I've seen them before and they're like five bucks. So they, if I have walked out with an armful of them before, I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> I've bought like eight at one time because they're so fantastic. I just want to make sure that I have enough to satisfy all my notebook needs. So, um, Janet, if you go back to my, um, my video, my YouTube playlist, I have a video on there called DIY Master Notebook, and it shows me, um, covering the notebook with my own printables, because that's actually a printable from our store, and it shows me taking the notebook and putting it back together with a new coil, because you can... I'm sorry. I was trying to see. Uh, I don't see them. One second. Oh, there it is. Okay. I have been buying a package of these big one and a quarter inch coils from Zutter in antique brass and these coils are just like the really nice ones that you get when you buy it a fancy planner they're really similar to you know the ones that you see on the I don't like any of the other brands this is the one I love the most so these coils will these bigger ones will take two of those notebooks and put them together for one magical notebook trust me on this um, so anyway in there and then I have, these are all like my little thicker embellishments. So I have like little cork ones here, wooden ones. I have my glue in a little fine line bottle. That is from Inky Quill. You guys will recognize <laughs> this. Um, when I watched some of her videos last year, I ended up spending like $150 on new art supplies because she's an enabler. You've been warned. Um, so I have lots of like these little wood pieces in here. And then I got these from Pretty Pink, Pretty Posh. If I'm saying it wrong, I hope someone corrects me. I think it's Pretty Posh, Posh Pretty, little pretty, something like that. But they have all these like delicious little sequins. So I've been using those in my little super secret craft project that I cannot unveil yet. And then, um, <laughs> um, Miss Sarah, Mr. Crafty has his own space at the back, uh, it, I'm sorry, at the front of the RV, um, and then he has his own like little desk area. Uh, we knew going, we bought this RV because it had this big space in the back of it. We like gutted out all the furniture and stuff that was back here. So we wanted the, <laughs> this RV because it had this. So I think he made peace with the situation going into it that he was going to he was going to abdicate his uh, <laughs> position, <laughs> um, but he likes it up front. He's got the nice big the TV up there, and he's there's a 
a sliding door between us so he you know he can just hang out and in his little his man cave up there um and then here's a little di oh here's where the other dish went so it's one of those dishes another home goods purchase and then i put some yummy um, paper scraps in there pretty pink posh thank you girls you're all correcting me now thank you I appreciate it. I knew I wasn't saying it right. I try to leave the packaging on things so that I can tell you where they came from. That one I actually forgot to do that. So there's my external speaker. Here's my um, my media center. <laughs> so this is an extra laptop and I usually um, have things up here like I'll watch um, YouTube videos on this laptop. It's just mo mostly for like entertainment I guess or I'll listen to Dr. Evans like do a sermon on here um lots of YouTube while I work I'm not gonna lie so um you guys can see yourselves in the chat room there's the chat room right there and then this little um stationary organizer desk thingy let me just go down lower this came from home goods too and I just recently got it all set up and I love it so I have a to-do list pad right here in the front. How scrumptious is that? Just a simple to-do list notepad. This little um, tray has got all my favorite, favorite pens. Victoria, my yum desk mat is actually in the house. I was just too lazy to go get it. <laughs> so, so that's just being honest right there. So all my little favorite pens are in here. I love these little flamingo pens I got on Etsy. They have them. They're so fun to write with. They're just, they're yummy. Here's a little bear. And then here's like my other little favorite pens. So I use this as the only one I write with in my Bible because it doesn't bleed. So that's what goes in there. I have full note, full size sticky notes in here. I have a bunch of tiny scissors in here. So these are all, I have no idea why I need this many. I think I probably bought a pair because I thought I lost it. Um, but I hope that they'll get some use. If not, I will end up finding someone who needs <laughs> little crafting scissors. And then this is one of my most recent purchases, which I love so much. It's my little mini three hole punch for the mini binders. And I got this at, well, it's a Staples brand, but I bought it on Amazon. And I love it. Um, I, I can add stuff so easily to my mini binder now. Um, so I keep it in here. And in here is one of those great trays from the container store. I have many of them. Um, and now it's actually doing its job. It's being a desk drawer organizer. So these are little roller adhesives or mini ones. And here's little mini... Um, correction tape. These are all from uh, Staples and I've bought multiple packages of them because I'm obsessed with these little tiny correction tapes. I don't have an emergency crafty. Oh wait, that's not true. I do have an emergency crafty kit. You just reminded me only now I'm trying to think, where is it? It's actually right here. So yes, I do miss Cobra. In here, this is one of the newer um, Orla Kylie bags. This is a little emergency <laughs> crafty kit. It has roller, this, this glue has been in here so long it's probably all dried out, but I have little glue sticks, a stamp pad. That's an extra little um, honey dashboard. There's little um, sticky notes in here. There's a little single hole punch in here, a roller stamp. Here's some favorite pens too that are just withering away in this little pouch that I've <laughs> all but forgotten. Here's some stamps that are in here and some like little stickers and page flags. So that would count. Um, little mini sticky notes, page flags and sticky notes, little mini hole punches. These are fabulous. Um, I cannot tell you enough good things about these single hole punches. They're really handy to have, especially in your planner girl pouch, because if you ever need to add something to your A5 planner, it's just really easy to grab an already punch sheet and use it as a template for this. So they're, they're really little. Um, so anyway, then there's a little thing of, um, what do you call that? Antibacterial gel 
put my readers in here. This is my little remote for the camera that would normally be up here in that area, but I don't have it up there today. I got obsessed once again with these little animal page flags and got some extra ones for my Bible because I thought it would be more fun. This is my original little, the girl from my logo that you guys see a lot. Um, I used to use her as, I used to take pictures of her in my photos. Like I would pose her in different places, like when I traveled and she sort of was like my stand in. <laughs> so <laughs> I have her and I have one for Mr. Crafty too. I have like five different girls and a Mr. Crafty. Um, this is an Orla Kylie bag. I don't think they have this particular pattern anymore, but Orla Kylie is a brand that is sold at Target. And if you look on eBay, you will definitely, um, you'll definitely see people selling stuff overpriced, but they'll, they'll still sell them. And then I have to show this to you, to you guys. I recently, and I know Mr. Crafty's watching me right now. So I, I'm sharing all this with you guys. And I just realized my husband is seeing all of my, all of my behind the scenes stuff that he's not really aware of a lot of times. Um, so I have this little mini Starbucks collection, card collection going that I got on eBay. And a lot of these like cards were, I don't know, two, one or two dollars. But I actually got this one in New York. Sometimes I'll let you have one if you ask. So I have a New York one, a San Diego, because I grew up there. But this is what I want to share with you. These cards are so ridiculous. I don't remember what year this one came out in, but how adorable is that? It's so vintagey. Yes, Sarah, totally flat Stanley. This was like a flat Stanley. I would use her in pictures everywhere. They went on our honeymoon. I took pictures of them on the lava rock in, <laughs> in Kona, Hawaii. So um, I have one where she's wearing like, she has a camera around her neck. I have, I have different versions of her that were hand painted by somebody on Etsy for me. And so that's how I used to take pictures because I didn't like being in pictures very much. And I thought it was so fun. So I have a kajillion pictures of these little girls that are like my little logo. So sorry, back to what we were doing. Um, so there's that one. And then here's this one. How cute is that? I don't even remember these being out ever. I found this by searching Starbucks gift cards on eBay and I started seeing stuff I'd never seen before. Okay, so this is the one I can't wait to show you. Does that look like Kate Spade or what? Am I, am I crazy? And yet there's no mention of it being related to Kate Spade at all, but I think it looks just like their brand. And I, um, I saw somebody with it on Instagram one day and I was like, well, you know what I, I, you, I thought, uh, OMG, I must have that. <laughs> so <laughs> I spent more time than I care to admit searching and hunting it down. Um, cause I, I couldn't find it by a name. I don't know what this is called. So it, it was released in 2014. If that helps, it was a 24, 2014 card. And that's how I ended up having by having to go through it. So anyway, and then there's a little record player. How cute. The seller put these in these cute little sleeves, but, and there's a little record player. So I found all, I found all these little cards in my hunt. <laughs> that one was adorable. Florida, how ridiculous cute are you? So Donna, what I do with these is I thought they would be really fun to kind of put them in my, in like a planner pocket, um, to kind of like, they're like, a, they're like an accessory. They're all empty. None of them have any money on them. They just looked really cute in the, in the, um, pocket. So I wasn't really using them for anything except decoration because seriously, they are super cute and you can buy, um, they they make a five, um, sheets where they have like for cards for putting business cards in. So you can put, there's like one that has like three pockets in a row. So you can put like a Starbucks card in each one. So I just thought it would be fun. I would love to look at that when I open my planner. So, um, maybe you could put one in it and then put like a little square of scrapbook paper and then put another one in there. So 
I got these and I felt like I have like treasure. <laughs> so I'm sharing with all my friends my treasure back here. So that's what's in there. As we continue the tour, this is where I charge my, my phone and my little birdie here. You just quit on me. And then up here, this is one of those, do you guys remember these fantastic boxes that Ikea would sell? This box sat in our, like my parents' garage for like a decade. I, we bought this for my daughter when she was probably like, I want to say she was like 11. I have no idea why Ikea doesn't sell these anymore. I feel like our craft community would just snap these up in a heartbeat. I don't even know how you find anything like similar to this. They're all like really nicely put together, like this kind of dovetail um, thing. So um, I am going to cover the fronts with different patterns. I just haven't committed yet to which ones, but I want to do it like a, a really cool collage. But that one I'm going to leave and I put bless me on there. So in these drawers or different things. These are the podcast business cards that I have. The first lip club. And these are just to um these are just to hand out to people as I talk to them in real life. <laughs> Should I be brave enough to talk to people in real life? Um so I do that to you know kind of advertise the podcast. In here I have different discs for all of my discs um, well, yay. I'm glad they sell them online because they didn't for years, years. I don't know what they were thinking, taking them away. So I have this one and then I have that other one that's got two drawers, but I hope they kept the quality up because they're really nice. The older ones, I hope that they're still like that. So I have, I have, uh, aluminum discs. I have gold ones and then I have rose gold. So different sizes and finishes because I love putting together disc bound, um, workbooks, which you guys are going to see, um, for camp reset. I have more of my favorite glue stick. Hey, I buy it. I've bought a lot of these. I buy them. So you guys don't think I'm crazy. The crazy glue stick lady. I buy these, um, for my workshops. So when I teach a class, I give them in the kits. So usually each attendee gets like three. So sometimes I end up with extras when I'm done. And that's why I <laughs> have so many of these little sticks, but I go through them really fast. Um, here's some more tacky glue to fill the little fine line bottle. Um, in here. Oh, thank you so much, Cynthia. I'm glad that you like that podcast. Tracy and I, sometimes we're like, you know, <laughs> we have so many technical issues. I really hope people are getting something out of this. Um, so these are kind of the only colors that I fell in love with. I, it bugs me as I'm sure it would bother anybody that there's two spaces <laughs> that, that need to be filled. But, um, I feel like I got the colors I really wanted. Those, these paints are just ridiculous and the quality of them is really wonderful. These are the brand from Target and whoever came up with the colors, I feel like they were like really on point. They are just so fresh and vibrant. Love, love, love them. So haven't, haven't gotten to use a lot of them, but I've used them more than I've ever used any of my other glue, sti um, glue sticks, paint. So in here are all of my enamels. And what's nice about this um, box is that when I go to craft, I can just pull the whole drawer out and set them where I can see them. So that's something I really like about putting craft supplies in a box like this because then they're just mobile. The biggest drawer has um, two of my favorite tools. And I told you guys I bought a brand new punch. This just came today. This punch is ridiculous. It is a ticket and it even has those little perforated edges. So I think we're going to build, um, our thought was, is we were thinking about doing, um, printables of our prompts. And if you have this punch, you could just punch out your prompts out of the prompt sheet, but it's going to be based on this. Is this, this isn't this awesome. These are my EK success are my favorite because of how, beautifully they've designed them because they're so space efficient punches are one of the hardest things to store so i think that's what we're going to do because i want to use this all the time and so yes kathy uh, target does still have those paints they are really expanding 
their craft and even like getting into scrapbook stuff now because they probably want to compete with the other stores that do it. So they are expanding all their DIY. They have like a DIY section. And then this, um, these particular, these two punches haven't been added, but um, Cobra, I promise they're going to go on our favorites page. So the resetgirl.com forward slash favorites is where I have all my punches listed and we'll, um, in fact, Mr. Crafty will probably do it while I'm on the show. So here's the ticket punch and we're going to make some really cute printables for our prompts with these. And then this one is for adding things to a coil bound notebook. So if you make a coil bound book like this and you think, well, I can't add anything to it. Not true. If you punch it with something like this, the coil is actually open. So all you have to do is just press it onto the coil and it'll stay. So I am really, really excited about this punch. So um, these are going back in here. And then the final part of our craft tour is, this is for my morning routine. These are my, I had these up in the cabinet and I finally decided I was sick and tired of hopping up and down like a bunny to get each book as I was working through them. So I decided to put them all out here. So um, this is my morning routine. As I was showing you earlier, I actually have two of these notebooks for my faithful life. So this particular one is there are notes from phone calls I have with my mentor. Um, they are business plans because my business is all my faith based business plans, my, my ministry, all of that is in this particular one. Be bold girl. And then this one, both of these are made from two of the, the fringe notebook collections. So you can see when they're brand new, they're super shiny. And then when they, <laughs> when they've been around a while, they lose their luster. Um, this is in our printable shop, the faithful girl, um, cover. So you can see, so here's an example. So this is actually from a different planner and I tore it out and I just pressed, I pressed them. See, I cut, I cut the little pieces away and then you can just press them into place and they'll, and they'll turn just like a regular page. Like it, you know, it's not like I'm pulling them out or anything. If you just flip them, they'll stay right on the ring, even though they technically have, um, a hole in them, or I should say a cut. So that punch will enable you to punch a regular piece of paper and then press it onto your ring and then flip it over. How amazing is that you guys? So these are notes from like, um, my sermons that I watch online, my going to church, although this proved to be too heavy to go to church. So, um, I eventually started creating something else, but these are mostly from when I was watching Dr. Evans online and sitting there and, and just crafting in front of the TV. So I'm going to continue doing Bible study notes in this. So I have some, um, Bible study stuff, some books I'm reading. Here's my daily Bible. Here's my prayer binder. And then here is my everyday go-to uh, Bible, my Kindle, this little pencil case, this adorable little Kate Spade pencil case. It was languishing in a bin of pouches for a long time. And I noticed that they're still for sale. You can still find these little pouches. If you have an e-reader, I highly recommend them as an, as a Kindle pouch because they are actually um, cushioned and they are lined with like a really nice pleather. Isn't that gorgeous green she has? So, um, I, she got a new life and she, perfect because she has glasses. And so now my little Kate is been reimagined as an e-reader case. So should you see these out and about and you happen to have e-reader, consider using that as a cover. Um, and then I have these two little, um, books in that, and that wraps up my little morning routine. Not that I do every single thing in that basket, but everything having to do with my morning is generally in here. And then these little good goody trays, which are so yummy. These are also from Amazon because I am a big Amazon shopper and I never recommend stuff to you that I don't purchase myself. I want to be very clear about that. Um, I love these. These are actually for organizing jewelry and these pieces. Well, the whole, the whole framework will come out. 
but I think I can't remember if it's it's this the long pieces will actually come out so I use these for storing my paper punched my paper punch buffet pieces um, now because I have so many of them and I have different types Heather, I don't know if you've ever seen this book. I found it at a thrift store because my mom and I have been going thrift store shopping lately. And this book is so bomb. It is all about offense, people being offended, um, which I think our society is severely suffering from. Um, and so I was really stoked to find that. So isn't this super fun, you guys? And it looks so classy because it's like this linen. But I really, really love them. And... Um, I like the fact that there is a little bit of customization in them. So here's these pieces. And then this section are all like my vintage ephemera. These are all from like punched um, books and little yearbook pictures and some stamps. I got a, most of this stuff I got from the paper basket on Etsy. Katie has the cutest store and she's got tons of this stuff. And... Um, Sarah, yes, I love that word unoffendable. That is such a great word and something that I want to work on too. Actually, both of them come out, not just the long ones. The whole thing comes out. Well, I know the whole thing does, but oh. the long ones will come out on their own. Like the one of one of them will come out all by themselves. Like it's the short ones, see? And then the long ones come out. Correct, but they take everything else with them. So anyway, you could customize these. So these are on Amazon. And I do not remember the price, so I don't even want to, I don't even want to um, say it because I'm probably going to be wrong. Okay. And then on, that's my neighbor. Hi, neighbor. <laughs> um, I have this little rack here. I have some of like um, vintage magazines that I have in here that were really cute vintage book. So I'll put stuff in there that I don't want to lose or forget that I have. Um, so I put that up there on the wall. And then here is another um, little cabinet right there. This little stool and this piece, both of them came from Hobby Lobby. So in here, this whole drawer is stickers. Um, and not my stickers, but just stickers in general. So um, these are all like... Um, word, word strip stickers and alpha and word. These are one of my favorites. They're all chipboard. And then in this, here's another example of how I use these things for storage. So this whole box is all reset girl stuff. A lot of like just various. Um, Kathy, it is called the paper basket. And I'm giving you guys one of my very best resources. So don't clean her out. <laughs> leave some for me um so anyway i have a bunch of stickers in here sometimes they're misfits um and yes sarah you do have good little eyes um this one i would i i bought this online from a seller in canada because i've never seen it before and i don't really buy stickers like this um you guys know i'm, I'm more of a vintage girl but i was really intrigued um with the tiny stickers, I guess, but they weren't as tiny as I thought they were going to be. So I'm not, I'm not sure what I was thinking I was going to get, but so I'm not sure that I'll use these. I might donate them or make them part of like a kit to give away, like a giveaway prize at a event. Cause I like giving things away. So that might be what happens to that one. Um, but we're going to be actually making some sticker books that are going to be um, similar, like this, like similar in fact that it has like, tons of sheets. That is one of the things we're actually um, looking at doing. So, um, how would you guys like a whole reset girl mega sticker book like that? Let me know. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so here's just a bunch of reset girl stickers, and then lots of different types of alphas, and then um, pink fresh has different types of shapes, the bigger scrapbook stickers. And then I have a smaller bin back here. That's like more small, big stickers, lots of reset girl stuff in the back here. So just like a variety. Um, here's this whole book. Do you guys remember these sticker books that I introduced like a kajillion years ago? So this is when I had all like the planner icon stickers. So like imagine a whole sticker book 
full of all of these little planner stickers. I had all of these icons hand illustrated by my um, friend who he did a really good job for being a dude. He really did a great job with his, uh, I always tell him to channel his inner girl. Like just pretend that you're trying to get a girl to be like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. <laughs> so um, these are the stickers that I had. Um, and I have some exciting news about these stickers. You'll be seeing more of those. And then there's like pencils and like this is like a big flashback sticker book here. All these older ones. Look at all these cute little Happy Mail boxes. Isn't that cute? Moving day. So, and then in here, this is something I would totally suggest for organizing and even like something you could take with you portable. I have taken this with me on vacation. It's a canceled check file. And I actually keep like different types of ephemera and stickers in it. So these are like vintage playing cards that I use in my crafting. These are all like alphas. Here's all these word strip stickers. These are all journaling type stickers. These are um, library card pockets and these cool Maggie Holmes cards that I put into my, hi Melissa, that I put into my um, altered book and journal cards and I love love crafting <laughs> with yearbook photos I think it's so fun to do that so I have some of those um lots of different types of honeys and then pencils and icons like there's my classic t like TRG um sticker so I seriously have so many reset girl stickers I I got a whole bin of them underneath the bed which I won't show you but um I, I have a lot, ladies, a lot, as you can imagine. The second drawer is all stamps. So roller stamps, clear acrylics, some stamp products. And I did a whole downsizing. So this is a fraction of the amount of roller stamps I once had. And the rest of them got bagged up. I, I think my intention was to sell them off and I just didn't do it. So they're probably in our storage. And then this last bin down here, this is all, um, like, here's all my, like, random ephemera these are like playing like card games, vintage card games, tickets. Like this is the stuff from Katie's store, the, the um, paper basket. She'll just sell random tickets and stuff. So it's kind of fun to see like, or like original things. Um, here's, you guys have never seen these. We have not sold them yet, but we started making these die cut planner tabs. This is the adored collection. They've got gold foiling. And you have like seven complete sets of planner tabs for the A5. And then you have these single ones. Michelle, we actually do have them in our collections. All of every collection I have has um, beautiful brown honeys in them. They were highly requested and we made sure that we have them. And we even have uh, planner covers with them too. In fact, one of the planner covers um, that we have with one of them, she's wearing a pink pantsuit and I named her Rhonda <laughs> because she is very sassy. Um, she is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite honeys. Let me see if I can show her to you. I had, I had them out earlier and I set them down. I want to make sure you guys don't see all my mess. <laughs> I have the mess behind me, but I'm trying to find a few pieces of paper that I had in my hand earlier. And I don't know what happened right before the show went on air. I feel like I, <laughs> I squirreled them away for some reason. And I don't know where, I don't know what I've done with them. Cause I made an actual, um, I made a sheet with her because she's my favorite of them. Darn it. Well, I hope that you tune into my, <laughs> my prayer binder video because she's in there, but you'll see her in the, um, in the printable store. We have a lot of them. Um, so anyway, this is just all random ephemera and stickers and just like weird things I thought would be fun to scrapbook with. Like these are like these really cute little buttons baby buttons 
and so in this side is all like library card pockets, journal cards, um, uh, blah, blah, blah. these are like index card dividers, more library card pockets, um, more of those little baby journal, the little flashcards. Thank you. You guys are so helpful. Thank you, Mr. Crafty. So, um, <sighs> Whew. okay, now I'm lightheaded <laughs> for bending over. Okay, so the only cabinet I can show you that has stuff in it, because these are all, these are all empty, but I'll show you this last cabinet. And so up here is where I keep, um, the, some of the books that I have. So these are all, um, look, here's a French studio that we were talking about earlier. So this one's fringe studio and it was $4.99. So they have like, I don't know, their covers are different. Um, this one was really kind of plain as far as I was concerned, but the quality of their notebooks are just incredible. So I buy these every time I find them. And so that's what they look like. They're by French studio and I keep them up here. Um, French studio actually also came out with a planner. This was a planner that they did and it was $12.99. So if you're on a budget, um, home goods, TJ Maxx, those are great places to find planners. Um, this is a vintage, uh, what do you call that recipe box? And it actually has actual little recipes in here. So I'm using this tin for a specific reason that I haven't got to yet, but I love the fact that it came with her little recipe cards. It's so adorable. So I want to craft with those or do something with them. So here's a few of my Bibles that I have up here. Some, this is another binder, another faithful binder. And then these are all pretty much, except for my um, altered book that I was showing you guys earlier. These are all additional faithful books. This whole bin is all like little bitty Bibles. And then back there is an empty bin because, um, I wanted to make sure that when we actually travel and move that I could take this stuff <laughs> and put it somewhere um, and, you know, and store it so that it would be safe while we traveled. So that's my only big cabinet that I have for storage. So that is my massive <laughs> craft space tour. Um, I do actually own additional craft products. So this is not it. There's actually stuff under our bed in a bin, but this is what I use mostly every day. This is like my go-to stuff. Okay. I just saw my neighbor walk out of his house. <laughs> I didn't want him to see me. <laughs> didn't want him to see me with the camera and the lights on. I'm sure I look crazy. Um, so anyway, I'm going to tidy all this up now so I can start doing the little craft, the little mini craft project I had to work on for this evening. Okay. I'm just tidying up, putting things away. Okay. Yeah, right? That's, I, and see, I wouldn't be able to get away with that because he has to see everything that we have. Like, there's no hiding it <laughs> from him. All, I, you can have no secrets between you and you live in an RV. I, I, I'm just going to warn you guys now. He, they'll know everything. Okay, so I'm putting away that. One thing that's nice about having such a small space is it does, um, when, once you get it all set up, it does seem like it takes no time at all to get it nice and tidy again. So, hey, Mr. Crafty, would you mind getting this back set up again, honey? on the clampy thing. Bye, Jeanette. Sweet dreams. Sleep well. Yes. So, so that, Celia, it was exactly my goal. I wanted to get everything out where I would actually use it and stop storing everything because I did that before. Everything was stored and then I just never... I don't know. I don't know if it's like an out of sight, out of mind. I don't know if it's just because I didn't feel crafty then. But now that I do feel crafty, I'm trying really hard to use my stuff and like craft almost every day. 
So I just found a great place. Good night, Michelle. You have a good weekend too. I keep forgetting it's Friday. Donna, that's wonderful. You know what? I have convinced, I feel like I do more stuff now in this little space than I did in my big craft room. I think the big craft room can be intimidating or overwhelming unless you are hardcore craft girl. I think that for me, it felt like it, it didn't inspire me. It, we're changing out our lights. I had them at full power, so they okay. run out really quick. Okay. We use these little, t I'm sure, this, I hope this doesn't blind you guys. Ah, uh, we use these little tiny powerful lights and we put them up, he puts them up around the room strategically to cr create light in here. Hi, Jennifer. Better late than never. Um, because it's actually getting really dark outside. So, well, not really dark, obviously, the, <laughs> it's still, the sun is still technically out, but it's going down out there. So these lights are really small and um, more compact. They're just a little bit different than using. Cobra, amen girl. I think that is, that's how I felt too, is it? I would spend so much time looking for something that by the time I found it, I was kind of over it. Either that or um, the thought of like bringing stuff out and putting things away felt so, it's like it felt so exhausting to me just mentally thinking about it that I didn't want to craft. We're just sort of um, hanging out here while Mr. Crafty gathers his stuff up to take this phone away from me. So I can do the crafting part we've come here to do. It's really a very, very small craft, um, <laughs> a craft project. It's, it's barely a project. Okay. Yeah, I want you to take this and clamp it up to the thing. That's what I've been waiting on. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't hear you come in here. I've been working. I'm changing batteries in the lights so that. Oh, so it was just a coincidence. Yep. So it doesn't get dark. sing a song or something <laughs> okay guys all right so I don't know if you guys have been crafting while, we, while I've been talking so ha have we been um, have we been crafting and Karen I see that you'd like a update of the crafty commonplace book and I would love to tell you that I have been crafting away in it but the sad truth is is that I have not done anything in it beyond what I had showed in my video. So it, it just, I don't know what happened. I felt like I just kind of like fell into a craft slump. <laughs> but the interesting thing is now I have my mojo back and I've actually been thinking about this book a lot and I have some things I want to put into it. So I feel like I'm going to get back in the saddle again with this and get some more pieces. So what I've been doing in it has just been laying the groundwork for um, that. I think I showed you guys this on the video. So I'm going to be adding to it as time goes on. All I've done is just added little pieces. So, and I'm going to be doing um, a walk. So a flip through of my altered book, a flip through of the the planner binder, and I want to show you planner binder, prayer binder, and I would love to show you guys um, the haul of the journals that I bought that I was showing earlier. Um, so I mentioned to you that I was making um, a gift, like a packaging for a gift. And so <laughs> I have to do this. My mom's going to go to a baby shower tomorrow. So I wanted to send her off with this gift because I'm not going. So I thought it would be kind of fun. And I could say, hey, I crafted on the late night crafty club. <laughs> so 
um, is killing two birds with one stone. But what I thought was interesting about this is that I don't know about you, but I feel like we always tend to kind of end up with a lot of like packaging supplies. Sometimes we end up, um, I don't know, buying lots of gift bags and stuff. And so I kind of wanted to start challenging myself to not um, buy gift bags and brand new tissue all the time. Like try to, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> that sneeze caught me off guard. Um, so I wanted to try to repurpose. And one person I saw on the internet who is so fabulous at repurposing is her, um, her blog is called older and wiser and it's spelled W I S O R older and wiser.com because her name is Rebecca Weiser and she <laughs> bless you bless you bless you <laughs> you guys are so cute thank you <laughs> um she has this fabulous feature on her blog where she uses the most just randomy stuff that like laying around the house like cereal boxes and just stuff that you guys have on hand to wrap presents and she does it so she's so crafty because she's on a budget so um, she's super inspiring to me, and I like wanted to channel her for this. So there is a new baby coming into our family, a little girl, and um, I thought about um, what I wanted to do as a little gift, and I just wanted to do something little because um, I'm on a budget, y'all, and uh, I wanted um, to just do something little and thoughtful because I just feel like people get – I mean, there was all of the stuff on her um, – what do you call it? The, uh, registry was like, all of it was like bought. <laughs> Everybody got everything. So I wanted to buy something for her that I loved so much when my daughter was little. When my daughter was a baby, I bought her little baby sunglasses. So these are for like a newborn and up. And you would be surprised how handy baby sunglasses are because a what baby wants the sun in their eyes all the time. And I see parents pushing their kids with the sun in their eyes in their stroller all the time. Um, so these little sunglasses, which I got on Amazon, of course, are very much like the one she had. They were just plain pink though. Um, but I thought these were precious. So I wanted to get her a little pair of sunglasses and make a cute little box to store them in. And I'm going to put her name on the box and like, um, her name's going to be Isabella. So Isabella's Sunnies. <laughs> so it's like a super cute little, you know, fancy little sunglasses. So I thought I would use, I, these are some of like the little bits of tissue paper I have. So maybe I'll use one of these as the, um, to like lay them in. I'm going to use gold stickers to put her name on the actual, um, this is like a box that had cards that came in it. So I took the cards out cause I could store them in anything and I'm going to use the box. So there's a clear lid, the little stationary box. So I think this is going to work out great. So I have some gold lettering stickers and I'm going to put a honey on it. Um, I picked out some different, so here's, this is one of my favorite honey collections. And I was kind of, I liked her because of her, she looks like, she looks Kate Spadey to me in this really cute little um, polka dot dress that she has on. And I wanted to use one of the printable um, flower collections, like from, this is from a new. So I'm going to use one of those. And then I went through my little honey collection and I tried to find all the honeys with glasses and see like, maybe I'll use one of these honeys because she has sunglasses. So... I might go with this. I'm going to cut her out and like lay her actually on the box itself, the, the clear part. So I might do, or maybe I'll do it on the inside. I don't know. So I want her to be fabulous though. I like this girl because she's super simple. Her top is simple. She would look cute coming out of the flowers or have the flowers involved. So the first thing I'm going to do is snip out my honey. Cause that's where I start. That's the kind of the, the kingpin of all my crafting is, is it's a honey. I should have two like taglines. One is it starts with the list and the other is it starts with a honey. <laughs> Cause that's who I always end up, always end up crafting with is a honey. And I am actually needing a small pair of scissors and I know just where to grab them because you guys just saw I 
keeping my hair. So, and Natalie, uh, yes, that is our goal. Sometimes YouTube cooperates and sometimes YouTube does not cooperate. So I, I can't promise that this will be up. Um, more than likely though, it'll stay up on, um, it'll stay up on a uh, Facebook. So if you come back to my page, the reset girl Facebook page, you'll see the video there. It just may not make its way to YouTube. YouTube can be persnickety, and I was quite surprised that it played well with Facebook in the first place, because they are actually rivaling companies, so it would be in their best interest not to play well together. So it worked last time. Well, hopefully it'll work this time. Okay, so I fussy cut cutted myself a honey. I'm cutting, I had uh, Mr. Crafty print these for me and um, and I just wanted the top part of their body so that's why they're like their legs are cut off so I think I'm gonna put them on the outside I don't know now I'm torn now I'm wondering if I should put her on the inside of the box so that she'll be protected and then the lettering will go on top mm, I don't know so um, just to make it easier to get her on here, I'm going to cut her at the waist, and then I'm going to cut this white part out. See, I just like play, I'm playing it dangerous. I just like snipped her off. Don't even care. I've never put anything on a three-dimensional object, so this will be interesting to see. So here we go. I'm going in um, with my glue stick. And I'm just, I'm going to trim her up after I get her on the box the way I want her. So just to remind myself, the box actually fits in to the other one. So she's at, she's kind of standing at a weird angle, but I want her to be upright and even. So I attached the glue and now I'm going to go back with my scissors and cut along the edge of the box to trim it. I come from a huge family. Hi, bye Lori, good night, good night, good night. So we have lots of little babies being born all the time, but um, I, I just, I don't know, I felt like I wanted to do something special for her, so um, I, I'm in love already. This would be such a cute little shadow box now that I'm looking at it, right? You could totally like put something inside and so you'd have like different layers of dimension. I want to put scrapbook paper inside of it, but, um, the tissue paper that I'm going to put in here will cover it. So I will just leave that blank. So now I want to put a flower on my lid. Um... I was I like this flower I'm I I thought what I wanted to do was kind of put the flower so it was kind of coming this way she kind of does too but a cooler version of Velma don't you think I think she's a little cooler um, so I of this group, this these two are my favorite. Um, I'm gonna, but I feel like part of what I want is this teal flower. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this one, and I'm gonna trim off something on here. I'm not as big a fan of the little black things, and I notice that when I use this, um, this sheet might be a misfit. <laughs> Now that I am sitting here trying to pull it apart, I often end up with the misfits, things that don't cut perfectly because I always make sure that my students get the best. And sometimes like when we first do the settings for cutting or printing, Mr. Crafty has to like manipulate it a little bit. So I think I ended up with a misfit floral sheet. All right. So I'm going to trim off. See how quick and easy that is? Just trim it off like it never existed. So, 
So part of me likes the thought of her having some flowers coming up out of her like that. I don't know. I kind of like it. But if I do that, then I've lost the entire purpose of getting the, the teal flower on there. So I think I'm going to cut. The fun thing about printables is um, you can you can print them on different materials. So in this case, these are this sheet which came from our print shop. This was printed on the clear um, sticker stock. So the little letters are going to come down through here. So I want to put something up here and then I wanted to have something down here. So I think that's pretty good. Maybe I'll just bend the sticker around it so it can just stay on the whole box like that. That looks pretty good and it's staying. It's not trying to pop off. Okay, so we'll leave it like that. And then the flowers coming down here need to look like they can hold their own. Okay, I think I'm going to go, uh, I think I'm going to go with this one, but I'm going to trim it again. Okay, so I am now a half an hour over my allotted time for Late Night Crafty Club. I try to keep it uh, two hours, but um, not tonight did not work out. But it definitely wasn't like the last time I did it where I where the show was a four hour show. <laughs> that was my um, longest late night crafty club ever in the history of Evers. But that one was okay because that was a lot of fun and I actually crafted nearly the entire time. I think I talked for 10 minutes and then crafted the rest. So, okay. Good night, good night. I need to look up more often. Sorry. Good night, Colleen. Good night. I feel like I need to have like this group good night song. Good night, good night, good night, good night, good night. Okay. So I like that. I don't know if I can show it better. So it's like I got the clear flowers going over the top of the box. This is not super fancy or anything. So the this is the part where I'm like, oh. So I want to put her name here. And I was kind of wondering if I should do her name or just say like my sunnies. Because I thought, I think sunnies is such a cute little name to call sunglasses. And maybe it's just cuter to say my sunnies. I don't know. Let's do a vote. Let's say, um, raise your hand. Do we, do we even have like the little hand raising? Okay, let's do it by a show of like the little thumbs up. Because I think that's like a, uh, something I can visibly see. So if you guys think I should do it with her name on the box. Because this is going to be where her little glasses are stored forevermore. Um, her name on the box. Give me thumbs up. Just putting my sunnies on the box. Just my sunnies. Okay, already I'm seeing more of those. So we'll do it that way. Less stickers too. <laughs> so, hmm. I got two kinds of stickers. I've got the glittery kind and then I have just like the gold foil. I think the glitter ones are more magical. They're just more special. Um, okay, so the My Sunnies wins, and I think I am going with now, hmm, do I capitalize the M in Sunnies? Or Sunnies? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm tired. Um, hmm. Do you guys ever feel like you can't make even the simplest decision? Like, I, like that decision's too hard. I can't make it. Um, Mark Speaker? Mark?
Okay. So. All right. I think I'm going to just, I'm not going to do, part of me wanted to do all lowercase, but I think I won't do that. And. think this uh I got this new um oh am I still on yes okay <laughs> but I don't I don't know how to get that remote control session back without messing with the phone and I don't think that'd be a good thing okay these gold glitter um stickers are awesome but I'm already out of ease I have an E emergency. I don't know what I'm gonna do. How do I not use like my all this whole sheet? <gasps> oh my gosh! I just realized that there's an E in Sunny's. Oh no! Use the F. No, I'm using lowercase. Oh. <clears throat> So I'd have to like try to cobble together an E with a C. Oh, oh Lord. Me... And that's why you just don't make the decisions at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is gonna be some. This is gonna be some uh, crazy crafting tonight because. Use a Y instead. So spell it wrong on purpose. No, you're you're being like hip and cool. Vanessa, I agree. Every company that makes alpha should give you a whole sheet of just the vowels when you buy them because this has happened to me so many times and then I end up with all of these stickers that I can't use. See, Cindy agrees with me. What does Cindy say? She says, Spell it wrong. Y. Use a Y. Okay, Cobra. I know. I'm holding my breath too, girl. Do I cobble together a lowercase e with the letter C and, and, and be like, what do you call that? Like ninja crafting? I think it's like ninja crafting. Or do I in, intentionally misspell it? I'm having like a flashback to my youth. How about how about use the YZ? S U N N Y Z. <laughs> I can't do that. Why? Cuz I would never do that. Then it looks very much intentional. Oh. I I have to I have to just no, I can't. I have to do it the way my my brain already says it's spelled with it. I, e. The it's kind of ironic because when I was a kid, I actually lost the spelling bee that I was doing so good at because I spelled cherries with a Y <laughs> and not an I. Somebody said to use the C and the. Uh, yeah, that's what I was. That's the only letter that's even remotely like yeah, the but E. And and like that piece. From yeah, the I'm thinking like you can see the outline of the. E. The problem is, is that why does this C look so different from the E? I'm going to put the C where the E was and see what happens. Like, what, what am I missing here? Is it something tiny? Is it like just like a tiny barest of a little cut going there? See how similar it is? Oh, man, it's actually a little bit more complicated than what I'm giving it credit for. Now that I you look at it. You just need to go YS or YZ. You just need to make a decision. More than likely, they're going to open this and just toss it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> you, you spend all this time. Thanks, honey. <laughs> Thank you, honey. You're welcome. That's what I'm here for. To destroy all my hopes and dreams. Okay. So let's take... I'm going to take this little tiny bit. I'm going to try and make an E out of this nonsense. Man. Oh, you know what? I, I think I have a better idea. I think I'm going to sacrifice one of my E's here. This is where I used all of my E's. I think I'm going to, that's what I'll, how I'll handle it, is I'll just take an E because this is a gift, and I want it to be like the best, not some thing I'm doctoring. I'd rather put this C on my 
blinder. I'm making the sacrifice. <laughs> the crafting sacrifice. In okay. five seconds they look at it, we'll do it. <laughs> do you hear this, you guys? I know he's right. These are not crafty girls and no one's going to care <laughs> at all. And he's he's right. The box could possibly just get tossed. But the recipient, though, for a moment is going to go like, oh, these are so cute. They're so adorable. Okay, so there's my sunnies. What's going on there? So I can't see any more, any more of the chat room or anything? Chat room's right there, baby. Okay, well, what's going on there? I, I can't remember. I sacrificed the E. I can't remotely connect to the phone anymore unless I goof around with the phone, which I'm scared to do. Okay, so here we go. We have the teal or the gold dots. Um, I don't know. The gold dots feel like they're competing a little bit. But they look more sunny than the teal. All right, that's true. All right. Let's, let's do this. Okay, so we got some, like, little... Polka dotty. But of course, all the girls are saying teal. Are they? What, what do I know? I'll go, back to my, I'll go back to my desk. They're just. Okay, so let's see. I just feel like the, it, maybe it's a little too busy. And I think the reason why I like the teal is because I knew it would be a little. A little more solid. I like the tail too. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this piece. It's really weird because now it's it is dark outside and all these lights are on, and so I feel like now I'm in the fishbowl <laughs> and all my neighbors can see me sitting here. <laughs> it's like the spy has become the spy -y, or the spy -y has become the spied. Okay, so now we're putting her little baby sunglasses. In there. Okay, and then the last little thing that I wanted to do. Where is that box? a big old mess. Okay, so I want to cover this on the... That's pretty. I'm going to cover it. So now you guys can see how actually like my, my crafting is very lazy. I really don't measure things. I just slap them on there. Okay, so I think that's going to be great. Just covering up that, that little piece so it looks more finished. And then Okay, so I'm just putting on a little note it's from your cousin, Corey. And then I am sacrificing one of my favorite die cuts. But I feel like you should do that sometimes. Okay. And then I'm going to put this cute little scrapbooky heart here. So this is going on the bottom of this 
and and a layering circle. Actually, no, I'll just leave it there. Okay, so there we go. I have repurposed the little uh, stationary box. Like I realize how many of these boxes I have. Like this little box is is one of those little stationary boxes. But I thought this was so adorable, I couldn't stand the thought of getting rid of it. It was made by one of the company. Like um, it was a, from Target, and it's wood grain and it's like really solid and it has this really great material on it. So. Those little boxes of like thank you cards and stuff that are super cheap at Target and Home Goods and all that, they end up being they can end up being great little um, packaging for a little gift, little gifties. So that is my present. So my crafting is over. <laughs> I told you it was going to be a really super simple. Almost embarrassed how super simple that was, but I appreciate all you guys weighing in and um, on that. So these little glasses were like eight dollars on Amazon, um, and they might sell them in Target or you know Walmart or something. I just didn't have time to go hunt hunting them down, so it was a really easy button. And I think they make a really precious little gift because, believe me when I said that nobody thinks about babies needing sunglasses. But, um, but I think they do. And my daughter got a, a kajillion compliments <laughs> on her little glasses when she was a baby. I still have her little pink sunglasses that I bought. Um, and I'll keep them in case I ever get a grandbaby. Um, but I think they're a really thoughtful and, and cute little gift. So imagine being the cool one who brings the baby sunglasses at the baby shower, right? <laughs> Okay, you just freaked out Cecilia, your hairy arm, getting into the picture. I have a hairy arm! <laughs> so he was trying to hook me up because now I can actually see better. How come I didn't see that good before? So, okay guys, I have a, now that the show is over, Mr. Crafty has made it possible for me to see the screen nice and big. Um, before it was more real time, now it's very much lag. Okay, so I'm lagging, I'm seeing the chat room lag behind. No, you not guys. the chat room. Video. The video. Yeah, the oh, so the video is lagged behind. Okay. So anyway, I am so grateful that you ladies all stopped in. I hope that you enjoyed your desk tour that um, we did earlier and that you're going to be super excited for Camp Reset. Of everything that we do together this year, this is the one thing I hope that you do not miss out on is Camp Reset. So if you joined us late and did not hear me talk about Camp Reset this year, um, please take a moment to go back um, to the beginning of this video when it gets posted in its entirety. I talk about it in the very beginning because I knew that a lot of people would be needing to jump, jump off during. So I, I try to present as much of the information as I have. There's just two bits of info that I don't know all the answers for yet, but I will know shortly and I will be posting in both groups. I will be emailing everybody my entire email list of, uh, I think we have like 20,000 people on our email list. Everybody is gonna know about Camp Reset coming. So I'll make sure it's pinned in both groups. You guys will, <laughs> you'll, I'll do smoke signals. We'll, um, I'll, I'll do whatever it takes for you guys to know that it's coming. I'll probably even do some videos on YouTube and live videos in the, in the um, Happy Place Club so that you will know Camp Reset is around the corner. So um, I am so glad that you guys came and so grateful for you. So grateful to see all your super sweet little faces and all your sweet comments and you guys just... I don't know. You guys you just make, you just, I want to say you make my day, but it's just bigger than a day. You just, you make, you make my life. You really do. So I'm just grateful. So grateful for you guys. Thank you so, so much. And I really appreciate how um, gracious and patient a lot of you are. I know I, I have kind of slowed my, um, my role is in terms of social media. I've not really been posting on Instagram very much. 
and I've just been really working behind the scenes to kind of try to stay focused on getting Camp Reset to its best and trying to spend as much quality time with my mom as possible because we will be eventually leaving California to go back to Texas. So I really want to just make the most of this because, you know, this is the first time we've ever really gotten to spend this much time together, just her and me. So I really wanted to, you know, be present as Miss Paula said earlier. Um, but I am really grateful that I can come back here a month later and, and you guys all show up again. <laughs> so I really appreciate that. And things are going to get better. We still have things in the works. I have physical products that we are um, designing and working on that are going to come out um, soon that we still have a membership plan in the background um, working on and we're going to have a brand new website. It's going to be so many great things and I'm just taking my time to do things very intentionally and not putting too much pressure on myself to make so many things happen. I want to make Camp Reset amazing and it's pretty much the only thing I'm really focused on right now. So Thank you guys so, so much. And um, I will be posting really soon the next Late Night Crafty Club because I don't plan on waiting a month to have the next one. So hopefully in the next uh, two weeks, there'll be another. And we will see you guys then. I love your little faces. My little happy hands are saying good night, good night, good night, good night, good night, good night. I love you guys. Love you guys. Good night.